So the team I played today, U11, U13, they were playing on the half line or inside my half. So like, uh, so I was a guy that I don't, I don't play kick and run, but fucking lob it over the top. Get into space. Play yeah. it in the, you break on the, the ground and right fucking over the top For all sure. day. Absolutely, man. Yeah, when it's a tactic that's like applicable, then go for it. But if you're starting the fucking first minute of the game, you're like, yeah, we're going booted today. Like, Route uh, one, man, baby. You're not a cook. <laughs> Big Sam Allardyce. <laughs> Route one all the way. Sam Allardyce. Who's your other boy? Fucking Hodge. Uh, the dude with the hat. Roy Hodgson? Roy Hodgson. Nah, Hodgson. Not Roy Hodgson. Hodgson. He wears your hat, too. West Steve Brom, Bruce boy. Too. West Brom? West Brom. Coach? Coach, West Brom. Oh, uh, Poulos. Uh, Tony Poulos. Poulos, uh, bro. Who oh, foolish? Tony P. Elbows all Back the old in. school guys. Yeah. Booted Tony on the P. counter. Hey, he, hey, he evolved. Dude, he was at Stoke for like 10 years. Never Stoke finished or in Europe. Yeah, Stoke dude. or in Europe. No, they never, he never made him to Europe. He Poulos. never finished the bump oh, 10. Mark Hughes, but he bro. never got relegated. Yeah. He was, Mark Hughes, they brought Mark Poulos Hughes in. never evolved. If he evolved, he went <laughs> from booted it. to like short, short, long. Oh, where'd he go? He went, he <laughs> went. That was evolution. Two passes jab, in, jab. and then we'll go long. Dude, he invented the long throw. Rory DeLapp. Long throw. <laughs> no way, bro. Long oh, throw's been no like... An, anyway. I feel like it's been an English staple. All right. Enough of me. More about you. <clears throat> all right. More about the EPL. Let's we in it. here, guys. We in here. It's 310. Right. Match yeah, day five. 310. Match day five. five uh, international break is over. Thank goodies. Thank goodness, man. Look, PFC Nation, we apologize for the technical difficulties. Last episode. Yeah, man. Um, I'm on the mic. Yeah, I'm on yeah. the mic today. To make sure right. we can hear Tiki the out there. Hello, hello. We got Alino in the house as well. What Al. up, everybody? How you I'm doing? in your ear. I'm no, your no, has, no has, no snacks. I mean, uh, no yeah. snacks, no hugs. Maybe get through some stuff this week. You never know. <laughs> right? It's going to be a quick 20-minute episode, it might dude. Be. Let's keep it Get too, it in uh, and out. Keep All it right, clean. let's get into it right away then. Uh, Man City 3, or is it? No, it's Norwich, Norwich 3. three. Man City See? 2. Oh, is he a little biased? He's used to it. Just Bro, it's used, just used to, to it. it. That's it. Yeah, man. It's just it's just used to it. Watching City dominate, and if you look at the stats, you would have sworn City won this game. But this is what I love about the beautiful game. Stats play a role, but at the end of the day, it's all about how many goals you put in the back of the net, man. The old onion bag. City did it. I tell you what, if you got Pookie on your team, you got a chance, dude. <laughs> you got a chance, dude. He's the Vardy. He's the Vardy vibe, man. He like, is, bro. He's, he's better than Vardy, man. If you see him on that. Damn, bro. Dude, on the second goal, the second goal, yeah, first one corner kick, set piece, city slacking. Mm. Second goal, John Stones, we were just talking about it, fucking yep. stepping up, Kyle Walker not reading the line, but the pass from from Pookie, the presence of mind, dude. dude just you know dude, what I love? He, had, about he, it? he that was like two inches away from Kyle Walker's heel. He fucking chopped it. The, the spin on the he ball. He sold right it like he line. was going to shoot it. Oh, so what beautiful. that did. It chopped it, pass. It drew Kyle Walker closer. It drew, uh, what's his name the over? Keeper. Goal, the keeper. Yeah. came over. He had, to, he had to cover angle. He had to commit. You have to he cover had to the commit. near post. He couldn't post. cheat to the pass. You got to cover the near post. Otherwise, Pookie slots it in. Dude, that little detail. Huge. Is that, that's a no. Subtle. Nook. Yeah, man. Dude, that and that's, a, that's what I talk about when I say the small teams, when they play the big teams, you got to go for the, you know, the high percentage chance. Puki could have shot there. He could have easily shot. We would have said, okay, maybe he should have laid it off. But he had, quote, unquote, every right to shoot. But he knew he was playing City. And he said, look, if I take this, it's 50-50. Edison's a beast goalie. Or I slot it off. Just do the right thing. 90% chance. That's it. Do the right thing. thing. Don't be selfish. Puki, brilliant, dude. Brilliant layoff. Norwich City overall, dude. This was a this was a Lions kind of fucking performance from them, dude. They were they were far from being canaries here. They were so ferocious, man. I'm so proud of them. Dude, I mean, the manager too, you gotta give him props for how his team's set up, man. Like since they've been in the Prem, five games in now, they look like they're they're easily gonna be staying up next year. They're well, flying, they're scoring goals. I think this was uh I mean the first perform- they've been unlucky with, with results exactly. this year, Good but sure. like the performances have been there. Pookie's been there Dude, all year. They almost scalped Chelsea. Liverpool obviously was their opening match. That yep. was a tough opening game at Anfield, but they almost scalped Chelsea. I think Chelsea ended up beating them three two or two one, something like that. Yeah, it was tight. It was, it was very rough. tight. Didn't they? Maybe they tied him. Maybe they tied him. No, I think three. Chelsea. They, they beat him. Let me look it up and verify. Yeah, but yeah. I, I, I think I looked it up during the game. But um, like you're saying, they, they've started. They've had a, a hard schedule For to sure. begin with, and three of the top six already played and they five beat, days in. They beat one of them, man. They beat, they beat the hardest one, arguably. Right. Right. I don't know, Liverpool, man. Liverpool's looking like a Liverpool. whole nah, Man City, different Man City's, beast this year. Either way, right. they were got someone put it. Robbie Mustau, one one of those guys, who put it to the, put it this way. They said Liverpool's got the attacking they had two years ago with the defense they had last year combined oh, yeah, this I heard year. That. You know, and and you heard that and you're like you know what they're actually right because the defense has been there. But now Mane's right out of the gates. 
Salah's still putting up numbers. Firmino, Firmino dimes. Firmino's the glue. You know, we'll get to we'll get to Liverpool later on. But Man City is a team that either way, man, they're they're system based. You know, the system will like Liverpool yeah. have holes in there because with uh, uh, you know Klopp's ego, but but Pep, it's all science, it's all shape, and whatever you lose, you lose. But like we're gonna play to our identity. But not starting Kevin De Bruyne, saving him for Champions League this week. It's you know, a tough decision. It's right? a, now. I mean, fantasy comes into play for that as well because whenever sure. there's Champions weeks, you know, players yeah. get rested, and City is so deep. Norwich at home, Norwich away. Uh, David Gundogan, man, I think this guy hurts your team more than he helps you, dude. I think and, that's and, a da- great... and David Silva hold in the middle, man. Kevin De Bruyne has to start these games. If he play, he needs to play. I know he's coming back from injury. It's prioritizing. I know he's coming League. back. I know, but still, man, that's like, what it is. You you just lost three points. You didn't get one point. You lost all three points. Well, here's the thing, too. Al, big impact. Aim Rick Laporte. We found out was out five to six months with a knee injury, and. In the group chat, we're all basically like, oh, no, City will be fine. City I said, will be nope, fine. I said there goes the title. I said, Liverpool, there you go. Yeah, I said that right away. That. I, I, was, I was obviously kind of joking a little bit, but that guy's been their dude. Yeah, he has been. And I've been, I was in line with like the majority of the group who felt that City would just continue to dominate, and they're more of an offensive attacking team anyway, so they'll figure it out. Like We wouldn't think the defense would be this porous. But you see John Stone's getting in the lineup now. He's not on the same page as Kyle Walker. And yeah, we'll, we'll play majority of the put majority of the uh, blame on Kyle Walker for that goal holding um, which one uh, the, the second, second goal holding um, the the attacker on side yeah. Pookie for Pookie to run in. But look at the third but goal. It's just like even defensively, you you get scored on on a set piece. <laughs> you got like a leader like Amrick Laporte on there. Does mm-hmm. that happen? You know what I mean? We said he's kind of been the company successor in a Dude, way. He's, Not that he's level, so but he's so the next comp- guy. He's so intelligent, man. He's so composed on the ball. He never gives the ball away. Like a John Stone's top of the box. Did it for England over the summer. He's got a mistake in him. She filled his pants, as my <laughs> as my buddy would say. Uh, what's his name? Filled his Comment. pants. Yeah, he's filled his so shorts. Lee, Lee Dixon? No, no, Scottish guy. Oh, my boy Ray Hudson. Ray Hudson. Yeah. That's a Ray Hudsonism. Fills his pants top of the box. Laporte never does that. Laporte always knows the, the correct out ball. Back to the keeper. And then Otamendi, man, out to lunch. Napping. Straight up napping, dude. How are you going to face away from the field and take a touch and then let it go away? Dude, ridiculous. Straight Criminal. Mistake. And that's, he needs to be dropped right away. That's, and that's why ridiculous. he's been the B oh, dude. I, that's what I'm that's saying. That's the hard thing. I mean, look, we talked about it. I think... You know who I you, you dropped is, Fernandinho. They were saying during the game, is he, he gonna, wasn't is, in. I'm saying, is, but is, Fern, is Fernandinho going to fill that hole at center back? Laporte? No, I think it goes Kyle Walker, and then at right back, um, I'd need to look at the squad. Jao right Cancelo. Oh, Cancelo. That's it. Uh, Kyle Walker played center back for at the World Cup. Um, he didn't do you know incredibly well in, a, ba- in, a, ba- in a back three. Yeah, in a back three. But I think in Pep's system, he can figure it out for. For at least a few games, you know what I mean? Until they figure out exactly who's going to go in that slot. So is it Otamendi or Stones? It, Otamendi out. Someone said it in the group. Like, Otamendi, is, this is his last season um, at Man City. I think so, too. Like, he's good in the sense of, like, he's like Lovren. If you put him next to company, Otamendi will be solid. But you like put him next to Stones. A better Lovren. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. A better lover, no doubt. It's just crazy. Like, it's, it's just still crazy. that vibe of like mistakes he's a bee. in your game. Yeah, he's a exactly. B, and he's got that like but the that recklessness to him. Exactly, it's mistakes. The, the gulf in between the two is ridiculous. Dude, it's, but now it's, City, it's crazy that it's that it's that drastic. Yeah, it's, but now be. City City's going to spend two hundred mil on three center backs next summer. <laughs> Koulibaly, so they need it's it like, though. Cool. Just come from Napoli colors, the city colors, same yeah, shit. It's over. Come through. So, like, we know next year that's what they're going to work on. Three stud center backs. I don't Maybe know, man. I think this might be John Stones' last year. I know he's got the age on Otamendi. Nah, he's young. He's young, man. You Otamendi's Otemen- is? 30. John Stones isn't young. He's 25. More. 25. Otamendi's 31. Ship on Otamendi. Yeah, Hold Otemen on to Stone. Like, he's a project. You keep him around. Keep him in the back what? room. And you, you bring know, in a stud, though. Potentially, you know why? unless he Koulibaly. keeps fucking up. But you know why? Pep has his back. That's the only difference. Yeah, I'm mm-hmm. with you as far as his performances should put him on the bubble, but Pep comes out and defends him oh, all I, the time. So like, I mean, but I haven't really heard Pep throw anyone under the bus either. So it's it's tricky. Like players no, have like come Sané, and went. Like Sane, he doesn't protect. Yeah, because I mean, Mendy, he didn't protect. Like he doesn't call him out in the media. I'm not yeah, saying he no, should no, no, be no. calling out Stone, but as far as he protected Foden, so no matter what Foden does, yeah. Foden's free. Uh, uh, David, uh, not David, Bernardo Silva's come out. I, I, so de- there are only like I definitely four or agree five that players. That he's come out and defended. Yeah. So that's the only reason. I agree with you as Valid. far as his performance. He should be on the bubble. But mm. of all the 23 players, the managers come out and spoken 
about like five of them, like in a like overly yeah like, yeah positive protect them way. So and I and I think, and I think part of, of that way. also was because of the criticisms they received, and because he believes in him, he legitimately yeah, he's like, believes he's in John Stone. I think so yeah. too. But, but he's never protected Otamendi. But I, I don't think he's ever really had to because people kind of know what Otamendi is. Like, Otamendi, he'll he'll get that, like, David Luiz criticism where it's like, we know what he is. Like, sometimes he'll yeah. make a mistake way, way less than David Luiz, by the way. But I think Otamendi's like, he's a leader in there more so than a John Stones. And he's like a proven sort of guy. Whereas, like, a John Stones is, he's kind of iffy. But that's what, I, but like, that's Pep's project. Mm. Pep project. That's what I'm saying. Like, Otamendi, I think, is better than Stones. Like, you know, over a thirty-eight game season. As yeah. far as talent, I think Stones is more talented. But yeah, better like, on the, better like on the Ella's ball. Saying yeah. like Otamendi is just a plug that he's a battle that, axe. That he's, pe- he's, he's a tackler. Pep he's a ball exactly. winner. It's not like Pep's personal project. Whereas See, Stones I think it's an, it's an is experience Pep's. thing, and I think yes, Pep yes. will look at it like, okay, this dude's helped me win leagues. Yeah, but he's gonna do- he dumped he's international company. Yeah, like, yeah. He's I think company was ready to go. I don't I don't know but if Otamendi is necessary. I think he's got one more year. At City Not after at this, Pep. potentially. At, I don't man. think Otamendi helps you get closer to a Champions League. I t- Stones, hey. I think he might if he develop, keeps developing. He's not going to today. Yeah. But in two years, Stones could. Otamendi's 31. He's peaked. Like, there's yeah. no way but going down I think, from here. I think... I still think it depends, like we're saying, who plays alongside him, right? Who's going to be the gonna stud bring center someone back? In, whoever, and like, if it's, if it's Koulibaly Laporte and Koulibaly. Laporte, and then Stones is the understudy. Now you're bringing in young center backs yeah. to understudy versus a 32-year-old who, and first you keep of all, wasn't you that keep, bigger. You keep that, that 32-year-old, I Maybe, think. Maybe, but they got yeah, rid of Delph. Dude, dude you, you know keep him on like, the bench, dude. Yeah. He'll still collect that check, and he'll stay in the reserves, and when you need him to play against him, I mean... I, I think he's got think one he's more year. Is what I'm saying. Okay. I think he's just got one more year. Well, you summer. said something about getting you to the Champions League. A guy who will get you to the Champions League on Man City is Rodri. I don't know how this shot. guy was Good not shot. fucking picked up sooner <laughs> or by there wasn't more fucking talk about him this summer. Man, this guy is a stud. You mm. know what it is? Like, also? Forget Xavi yeah. Alonso. This guy is better than I think he's gonna be better than Xavi Alonso ever was in the sense that like Ooh. he's got the calmness, but dude, he tackles. He's like he's a fucking he man. I don't know. That's, he, that's... He, dude. Just watch watch the space. It's obviously he's, he's, not, he's not he's not Xavi Alonso yeah. yet. Xavi Alonso still got the man. So I'm just saying that's that's a high man. But dude, this guy's got it, dude. He's huge. He's dude. nice, dude. He's nice. He's an athlete. He's mm. got, he's like six one, six two. He's a big dude. Fucking holds that ball up, dude. He's controls like he's the Fernandinho replacement. He's obviously natural, natural Fernandinho replacement. And the 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 thing with him, I'm with you. Oh look, not as far as the Xavi, but I, I as far as seeing his ability, I'm with you. And the best part is. He's in a pep system, so he's gonna learn to play yeah. at that Shabby Alonso level. Like as far as like no, he's the best structures, expectations, he's gonna be like what's his name on Chelsea on steroids. Uh, the Italian dude, Italian that Jorginho. Sorry, brought it. Jorginho. Jorginho is a poor man's um, Rodri in that like everything goes to him. Rodri's not gonna play that through ball. Yeah. Just yeah. everything. He keeps the Anything tempo. Like but he's Rodri. not a physical yeah, player. He can't. He can't, he can't but as far play. as like the tempo role, like yeah. playing through that number six. Yeah, and the thing that I love about him doing. is he, he never stops moving, guys. No, he doesn't. Watch this guy play. Even if it's like a, a jog at one mile per hour, he's just always on the move. For sure. And when he needs to be there, he sprints again, always. gets in a position to offer an angle and just Dude, help the team I switch. That, so I realized who he was going to be when he started. I think the first game City played, he started over Fernandinho because I think Fernandinho had a knock. And literally, he was receiving the ball from Edison in his box back to goal mm. and would calmly either receive it and uh, and play a lateral pass to get him out or one touch, play it back. He did the right it's thing Spain. every time. In your fir- but in your first game in the EPL playing for Man City, yeah. he's fucking brilliant, dude. Yeah, but on, gonna be on Norwich, man, we've been City heavy, but Norwich, man, Team Upuki. Fucking Jamie Vardy this season. Bundia, two assists for him. And Cantwell. Hussey said, you're a Hussey's fool. Boy. Yeah. You're a fool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, Hussey had him on his bench. So the guy never got in for Sounds points. Like hey. the fool is. But he's a young dude, man. Kind of goofy as fuck looking. But dude, they, get, look- they get some chemistry of the front three between Bundia, uh, Cantwell, and Pookie. He reminds me of uh, uh, Luke Chadwick. Remember Luke Chadwick? Luke Chadwick. <laughs> uh, but anyway, man, let's wrap this one up. Yo, if you told me... 90th minute or stoppage time, Aguero, Jesus, and Sterling are all going to get clear shots on goal. They did. I would have said, yes. I would have said all three of those are going in or at least a- testing the key. Aguero had the best something. one. All Aguero, had the, Aguero cut in. The goal. He had the shot. Yeah. Fucking trademark the finish. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Right the to the goalie's hands. Jesus as well. Too many cuts. Too many hesitations. Still got a shot off a few times, but like straight to the goal. He's sterling the same thing. Dude. As it stands now, God. City five points behind Man City. Five games in. City behind uh, Liverpool. Five Sorry, what did I say? Liverpool. 
City behind City. Behind Man City. <laughs> city behind. Sorry, guys. No, no Long worries, day. Man. It's all good, man. City behind United. Uh, no, five points, man. It's yeah, crazy. I, ho- I hope they recover. Yeah, I don't want Liverpool to have a cakewalk, but <clears throat> Liverpool fucking did the job. I'm just tired of Manchester City fucking dominating. I, I don't like any EPL dominance. This league is the best league in the world because we don't know who's supposed to win. Sure. It's supposed to be random. Well, not without Fergie there. Liverpool 3, no, Newcastle 1. That shit, bro. The you... early game on Saturday. Yeah, go ahead. Liverpool go ahead. Looking, looking to not go 30 years without a title to satisfy Tom's <laughs> fucking cravings that there's so much diversity in, team, in, the, in the winners no, except, Arsenal's my favorite team I just love yeah, to see okay, Man bro. United fans in despair ah, you want, dude, despair I said despair I said <laughs> do you want a Liverpool dynasty man I guess you do hell no you know not a dynasty but you want a Man City dynasty three years I don't, in dude, a row they, they can win that's a, a dynasty bro they, as long as they win four they'll match Fergie and that's okay you know walk walk away no anyway fucking, hey man man Fucking Joel Williams. Willems. Willems, dude. Jet fucking Pro. Willems. Mr. Rocket. Bangarang. Dude, this game was going to suck. If, if you got up early to watch this game, it was never going to be a Newcastle day. Like, they were just so outclassed, man. Like, they had well, no What a chance. great start, man. And you know great, funny? great start, though. But it's like, dude, seven minutes in, rocket shot by Willems, rifles into the corner. It's like, right. Behind, just park the this is what we, we do. Go back. Like, we're def- park like, the butt. You cannot. Dude, they didn't have a chance. They had no prayer, them. man, in this game. They and you really know what's funny, dude? Before this game, article come came out. About like Rafa Benitez and how to stop Manchester City and all this. So as I'm watching the game, I'm like, oh shit! Like Steve Brucey, he may have read this article, man. They're like set up D, hit him on the break, little one v one, you know, get some shots on target. And it was a nice goal by uh, Williams as well. Long um, ball, yeah, long yeah, ball, dude. knockdown pass Trent. on the Got right eaten. foot. I mean, damn, what are you gonna do? But I mean, Liverpool, they just established dominance. And once once they got their first goal, Sadio Mane. Was there ever, ever a Dude, doubt? Dude, that goal was beautiful, man. But it's like, you, you know he's going to do it. But it was unstoppable. It was yeah, and it beautiful. Came, came from problem. Robinson, just bombing on the left flank. Best left back in the EPO. Maybe the world. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. He drops it. I mean, he, he attracts two plays, essentially. Which gives Mane the space just to turn. Back, and too, right by the way. I mean, Drawing double just... teams as a fullback. That's problematic. Man. The That's finish was, it was ridiculous. Top corner. And you could feel like... Out, th- to me, there was never a doubt. And that's the difference... Between like the Man City, the Liverpool, like those two, when when they're losing a game, there's Doesn't like matter. especially at home, it's like Doesn't ah nah, matter. don't worry about it, nothing, don't worry about it. Oh, they're down one, yeah, maybe down maybe two, even down two, yeah, it means nothing at home. It's about to be a five-two game, dude. Anfield, yeah. their record at Anfield, bro. It's, I think they're undefeated since it's 20, something crazy, like dude, like 2017 or something. It's like basically since Van Dyke came in. Like, if you look yeah. at it, it's Yeah, like, I think so. That January. Yeah, Because they didn't correlate the rest of that January. It correlates, yeah. man. Yeah, for sure, man. He's a stud, dude. He's undeniable stud. But, man... Uh, Debrat- Matip. Debrat- oh, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> I was going to bring up Matip getting fouled on that corner. What's the point of VAR, dude? Got choked oh. out by Lascelles. Yeah, like, wrapped the whole around. Way, though. Yeah. yeah, the whole way. Didn't let him jump. Then put him in a headlock. Like, that is clear and obvious. Like, it I is. get the other scuffles. Like, I don't think I st- everything I should be I still think they need to change the fucking handball rule in the box. That's, that's bullshit. What do you mean? Yep. It's fucking... Du- if it hits any hand, fucking penalty or free kick. Dude. Fuck that shit. Oh, it led to a goal. What if it leads to a clearance? It's the fucking rules. What if it leads Don't to a clearance? That. If it leads to a clearance, I'm down with it because... Just have nothing. need help. It's tricky, defenders it's need tricky help. because it be- I liked it before where it was down to your interpretation. So if we have Bali, VAR, dog, we can Bali look at Bali literally intention. punched the ball into the net against City. Like, literally. like, And we all know the rules. It's like basketball. Someone kicks it off their foot and it goes in for three. Obviously, the odds of that are very slim. But, like, it's the same principle. It like, before. it hit his foot. Like, it's a foot foul. It hit his hand. If you get a goal, it's a foul. If you don't get a goal in the scramble and it's cleared, yeah, leave it for interpretation for sure. But if it literally hits my hand and the next touch is a tap in... That's fucked up, dude. No, I get it. Both ways, I get it. I, I think I liked it before where it was open to interpretation, but now it's a lot more black and white, so people have to kind of adjust to it, too. It's a weird but like, one. Even if we say it's black and white, like that specific rule is black and white, but yeah, the game yeah. is still so interpretation. We saw Matip literally get choked out and nothing was going on. No, no. And what, what, what they've done, too, coming in the EPL in the preseason, they've, they stated that that have a high standard exactly. for reversing the call, yes. which to me sounds like 
we don't want to make our refs wrong. We don't want to put like our refs on the spot or, and re- re- or like reverse we don't want to we don't want to stop and challenge every play and kill the game, which is what everyone was afraid of. So like we still want the drama, which was Al's point. Al was like, "Yo, this VAR shit's gonna kill the drama," and he had a point where if they literally stopped and called everything and or they looked at everything, the game would be so slow. But the fact that now, that was a straight foul, that was a straight foul, that but we foul. still missed it. We still got the That's drama. The you know what I mean, like, yeah. That was that was a fucked up. Foul, yeah, no, man. it was a foul. No, got away. Debraka fucking choking on his fucking shoelaces on that second goal, what man. Are you doing, dude? Eat the guy alive, make the save, gets he there threw first. Threw his knees in there. He was afraid to throw his body in there. That's throw why your fucking Mike balls in there. You fucking his... eat that ball, man. <laughs> That's it. And you fucking punch him in the face on, on the slide down. So that game, that was it. That was game. I mean, Fortunate. Newcastle never really had a chance in this TCB. Yeah. Uh, but, fucking as you like, as you do, and, and fucking Mo Salah with the fucking beautiful goal at the end. Bobby yo, Firmino. To me, for me, you're a man Firmino of the match. With the, with the fucking TFP Giroud, except good, because he can also bang him in if he has to. But that, That's your man of the match right the, there for the, me. I know. He's the, dude, he subbed on the field. The whole dynamic changed. Well, yeah, Origi gets hurt. The whole dynamic changed when he came on look, the field. Mane did score before he made an appearance. But so it was about I the get energy it. of, the, like, the link up in the final third. Like, we saw Newcastle was going to play a low block. Yeah. They were basically playing nine. Almost everyone was behind the ball, but it was four, five. Yeah, essentially, yep. like just pack it in two levels. Sometimes they would have the striker behind that too. And the the clubs that yes, and the clubs tactic was okay. Let's get a Regi in there, maybe get him behind him, get a physical presence in there to battle. You know, their mm. three center backs. And Firmino came in, and rather than making a physical battle, he made it like finding those pockets of space. So challenging the mentality, like, hey, can you pass him on? And dude, they he, so the dude. first goal. Well, the the first goal he's involved in. He presses uh, Christian Atsu. I think he had it in midfield, and he was occupied with Fabinho. And all of a sudden, this dude just sweeps up, nips the ball off of him. Not the most perfect through ball. They get a little bit fortunate for Mane to get in on the end of that. Dubrovka should have done better. But then as well, you look at the second goal, dude. His link-up play. Dude, he does a Maradona like... layoff into Salah. That's FIFA Street. I mean, Doug. That's FIFA Street. Dude, no, Doug. Look, no look fucking... <laughs> No look. We're talking about Giroud being the, the best layoff guy. <laughs> three oh, three, three, no, this two for Mino, son. <laughs> what about him? Yo, I, look, he's he's underrated. I'll thank, say that. Thank he's you. A, he's Thomas. underrated. He's, he's underrated, underrated professional. I'm glad you're fucking on it finally. He's, like, a, he's, he's underrated. He's a proper, but he's underrated. He's a, he's become a proper number nine in the sense that he's like a Teddy Sheringham, uh, even fucking Raul Jimenez on on, on a Wolves man. Classic number nine holds it up, can play off the guy. He's got feet. He's got he's scoring ability. But he's the difference. Though. But he's but he's going to give you a performance. He's going to give you options, and he's going to create chances just by being in that position. Firmino's the same way. He may not score. Yeah, that's but he, the difference. But if he's got quality around him, or people that can play he's with. Teddy him. and Raul are known for goal scoring first, and then the other stuff. Like they're yeah. complete forwards, but yeah. they're goal scorers. Firmino's, Firmino's not a goal scorer yeah. first. You know what he is, man? I've been saying it the whole time. He's a trekkerista. If you guys want to look that up, it's yeah. literally a blend between a number ten and a number nine, and that's exactly what he plays. That's why Liverpool can go to a four-two-three-one and still keep Firmino on the pitch because yeah. he can play that number ten spot or the number nine. You know what's fluidly. crazy? That should actually suit Brazil. If he starts, yes. so you think about Neymar, you want him to dude, be the one to get him behind dude, and flicks, finish, imagine right? Firmino's flicks to Neymar. Dude, like the last, the last World Gabi Cup, dude, we were flipping Jesus, up because yeah. Gabby Jesus would, would not come off the field for Firmino. We yeah. had a much better season that year. Yeah. Firmino wouldn't feature at all. Yeah. But, I mean, he's only gotten better since then. So, it, yeah, it's, scary, it's scary to be an enemy of Liverpool like United. For sure. For sure. But, Liverpool are perfect right now. Yeah. Perfect. And they've won in different ways. They came out... What was the Norwich game? I what think is, they tied yeah. one. This is the, this is the then, first game they've trailed in like a year. And they, so they haven't scored the opening goal, which is nuts, dude. And they, they and broke another record too. Like they <laughs> tied it, fourteen consecutive wins. The record's eighteen with Man City. They did it. But on 20. top of that, the the other sneaky record is that they've been the only team to score two goals plus. During oh yeah, that during that run, yeah. during that run, yeah. Like yo, man, I didn't the think only, the only thing is that they're not keeping clean sheets but it's fine because you have like you know Virgil and Alisson's coming back so like it's not even bro they're tied for the problem. best goals against yeah it's unbelievable like they have four goals against Man United also has four goals against and Chelsea four goals against so those are the three teams like who've been low key defending Harry Maguire it's... speaking of Harry Maguire let's get into speaking it speaking of those red uh, devils I don't like that speaking of fourth right place we're, on, we're in the ascendancy alright we're going in the right direction I don't want to sell a fourth but Man United uh, fourth place, they win one nil against a fucking dangerous Leicester team. They're very dangerous. Tepid performance. Uh, Marcus Rashford early fucking penalty earns a penalty, takes the penalty, gives him the eyes, goes the other way. That's what we needed from this guy. Slapping the badge. Well done, son. Eight minutes in. Let's kick on, boys. Nope. 
<laughs> Kick on. No. Pull it back, back in. in. Let's pull back it back in. in. <laughs> Let's just have no fucking ideas. Hey, we're playing at Old Let's traffic. just have no imagination, no dude, creativity. No. For you guys, a win is a win. Take that's what a, you get. Hey, hey, I'm, right I'm just saying, dude. But to Al's point, yes, we'll take it. I'm saying that's what it and is. And it's a clean sheet. So there's lots of positives, like and no Pogba, no Martial against Vardy, against a strong against, Leicester team, against Leicester who's who scalped who, who they. But scalped? no, I agree with you, dude. I 100 percent agree yeah. with you. Like that's why I'm not convinced about you guys because I'm still not seeing you dominate a game, especially offensively. Defensively, you look at the stats. Dude, there is you can pretty so, solid. So we should get ready for people to come after Marcus Rashford this season. They've already done it. He wants 350k a week. He he should be he should be he should be, well, he should he should be scoring, scoring 20 easy, go, 20 yeah. goals a year. Look at his supply line. Yeah, we shit on Lukaku. Where are the goals? No fucking supply line. Still, granted, yeah. his, his feet. Daniel were, James got a nice. His feet were bricks. But dude, this Daniel's not the supply. Daniel plays right? on the wing. Dude, he it's gets the ball. Supply. He can dribble up, cut in, yeah. and make his own chances. Rashford's waiting for the ball, dropping yeah. deep for the ball, like coming wide for the ball. You know what it is? He though? can't get the goddamn ball. It's the most important position on the field. And the Bruno it, Fernandez it goes position. Without saying, it's the center mid, dude, or at least. An attacking minded sentiment. Yeah. It doesn't have to be a number ten strictly. You but got a, a couple sentiments in there. McTominay, Matic. What they're happened out. with those guys? Are they not no, they, attack minded? No, they're good. They're good, but like they're not to the levels. Like a guy like Bruno Fernandez. Yes. To the levels. A guy like uh, Ndombele. To the levels. A guy like what's his name? Ceballos. Savage. To the levels. Not even touching Ceballos. Jamal Lee. Just the fucking run around doing step overs, tripping himself <laughs> up. <dog. laughs> Lots of unnecessary the wary, moves. There, the wary, bro. Yeah, but, no, one. he's nice. He's nice though. Uh, Mata is supposed to be that guy for you, and I've been said you guys need to upgrade on this dude, man. Yeah, of course we do. Of course we do. We want to upgrade, but it didn't happen. You know, I mean, Mata, he was supposed to be the, basically the Bernardo Silva, like chipping some goals here before the most part. Play that little oh, Lingard. Not even number ten. Maybe Lingard was supposed Lingard to be that. Lingard is guy. dog shit, dog. Tired of Lingard. Oh, he's dog shit. You're shit. done with him. I'm fucking done with. I, dude, the, was the every end product, week mate? that goes by, I it, it's it, it pisses me more and more off every fucking week. I think. This guy hasn't scored since December. Like, his life off the pitch is still, like, awesome and good, and he's posting and he's happy. So I'm like, yo, fuck this guy, dude. Where's the focus, bro? Where's the focus? That's, that's the Roy Keane coming through. I love <clears throat> to hear this it. guy. So, and and I, hope, I hope he proves me wrong. I hope he scores himself dude, 10 he goals. Should, I'll dude, shut he's the fuck a, up. But been like, at the club since he was a up. kid. Yeah, you time's know. up, dude. Like, that's a position I wouldn't mind Angel Gomes, like, yeah. filling in. Like, not well, dude, starting Why, why game, is Pereira like, playing right mid again? No, because you don't have a right winger. You should have had Gareth on the loan. No, right? Gareth is a left winger, dog. Again, another nah, Gareth's a right winger who likes. To oh cut yeah, in. you're right. He cuts in left. My but, bad. But like, no, look, we should have got, got Ziyech. You didn't like, get. You, you could have like, like snacks. What snacks. Hey, where you at, snacks? <laughs> Where's Ziyech playing right now? I'm not sure. Is he still at Ajax? <laughs> Dumb mother. But you guys couldn't attract Shut who you wanted. Man. At the end of the day, yeah. Harry Maguire Agreed. was the guy who you wanted, and you got. And we wanted Dumbele, won a Champions League. Couldn't we get him. Bruno, he had a fucking shitty agent, but either way, we didn't couldn't get him. Dybala went after him. Couldn't, couldn't get, get him. Kulibali yeah. couldn't Tell get him. It's, it's for real, man. So, like, Champions League is so important. I'm glad you and Snacks had that battle. I didn't want to influence it. But, like, having watched this sport since the 90s, dog, like, Champions League. Is important if you want to attract so talent. much, so much. And Sionku, so man, Sionku on this file, bro. He's been playing well, man. The yeah, he's Leicester been City yeah, center the back. Turkish, the yeah. Turkish cover for uh, Maguire. He's yeah, been man, solid. he's been playing dude, well, this guy's dude. A beast. He is. He's, he's gonna be an EPL shit. proper fucking player. Bad mistake. And even if you look at the previous tackle before Rashford, it was yeah. similar, right? Dude, he had That's a couple like, of those throughout yeah. the game. Like he was coming in late from behind, kicking yeah. ankles. Very desperate. Very desperate. He's late not get booked the whole fucking game. For sure, man. Yo, Daniel James at left wing. They moved him to the right wing, I think, later on in the game. Because we had Chong came Chong. on on the left. Please respect this, man. Chong should fucking go figure out the right wing. Daniel James is our only proper offensive threat right now as far as form. Put this guy in his favorite position. Even during this game, Dude, he, he attacks better than Martial. Right now he does, for sure. I'm with <laughs> you. Martial, too many touches, lose the ball, no progress. Exactly, Your head's man. fucking down. This kid, Daniel James. And Daniel James has the advantage of not being scouted. Obviously, as every game goes on, they're going to no scout pressure, him though. more and more. There's, there's, there is pressure, obviously. Exactly. Guys, I got, got the scout advantage. report. Go Keep him left. <laughs> That's it. You Keep saw Pereira. Left, Did you see bro. Pereira like, gave Come him on. inside? And yeah. then try to do that little back heel, like sticking his leg out. And like, he dog, proposed. Keep him outside. Yeah, he did propose. Yeah, he Took proposed, himself, man. Dog. Like, but come dude, on. You, you push him left, he goes left, and he's so quick to cut back right. Like, you know, I, but, I'd but take the way, that. you'd rather but have that than, like, give him the right Give him the middle of the field, too. Like, yeah. Cool. You don't want him running in his space. And I love Pereira, but, like, that was him. He missed his scouting assignment. Essentially, he didn't read 
and say, yo, keep this guy left. Like, yeah. he forgot. He was like, yeah. nah, I'm going to give him inside. And it was a nightmare. Yeah, it was, it was an absolute man. nightmare. And Didi bro. also got broken off, too. Dude, Scotty McTominay. Scotty Longballs, bro. Scotty fucking Scotty Scotty Fletcher? <laughs> no, that, Scotty Skulls, bro. Scotty He's got that Skull. long fucking, yeah, right. oh, that long yeah. sweat. Oh, yeah, that's what we'll go it's with just, now. Nah, man, relax, bro. Feeling jazzed up. up. Hey, man, it's a little hyper bowl, yeah, bro. I'm it's just a saying, bowl, it's a bad time. Gas. It's a bad time. No, smoking bowl for the Scottish yeah. national team, man. High as fuck. Scottish national team is languishing, but yeah, guys like Scotty Mack coming up, who is in my, I mean, I see him this game hard tackling him and fucking. I was telling Tom because he, he missed the, he missed the call, but he was fucking battling Madison the whole game. <laughs> Was, dude. And then Madison card. fucking turns back and fucking Sorry. retaliates and kicks yellow card for you. <laughs> McTominay walks away clean. <laughs> fucking beautiful, man. Like it was a it was a very mature see, performance. Did you see the first kick he got on Madison? Yeah. Like literally just took him the fuck out. Oh, yeah. Just kicked the shit, dude. Sorry, ref. It Sorry, dude. it was an accident. <laughs> and then Madison got his revenge, dude. Oh, fucking yellow card, man. But that's like, smart, dude. Like, dude, and, he, and all the flair yeah. players dude, in the he, beginning like, of the match that's chunks. That's real early. There was there was that play, man. He kept dribbling, cut to the middle, drew the foul. Yep. Second play later in the second half, one free kick for Rashford. Fucking bombed forward, got taken down, and then end of the game had the ball in the wing. Fucking blew by three, four players and dribbled to the corner. Yeah, then dude, f- I- then fell on it, and there's a little scuffle. Let, and let, me, let, me, let, let me bring you down. Dude, he sat on, on the ball, he but it, dude, he sat on it. He was like, wait, like the guys were no, like, trying to get. He's like, ref, I, I'm trying to get up. They won't let me get up. Like, look, it was, it was so one of those luck, not lucky games, a very good game Fortunate. that he had. But you know when you have a good game, sometimes you get a little bit fortunate too, just yeah. to bring you guys Let's down a little bounce. bit. Didi almost stole the show, tying it up one one in like yeah. the ninetieth minute, and it was off a McTominay shank clearance header. Yeah. You're like, just well, just you know what that is, get man. Contact. It's that D mid, bro. Relax, and Didi. How about you just? Well, you know sit what it was back, in, the fir- in the first. Stop fortunate there. Yeah, we was. having a good game. Who had the shot in the first like, first fucking five minutes? Someone had a shot in De Gea. I don't know if, I don't know if it was Vardy oh, it was, uh, or Damari. Uh, that no. fucking shot yeah, right, right out of the gates. No, his feet kick save. Oh yeah, that was uh, uh Madison. I think it was Madison. Yeah, I think it was Madison. Yeah, it could have yeah, been that ugly, man. Right save. away. Yeah, dude. Fucking yeah, first look, five. Hey man, we got work to do. We we need these kind Clean of like Tom said. Like we'll take the victory, but it's gonna be a rocky road, dude. And 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 before we move on with this game, let's bring up obviously the big story. He's always the big story. Paul Pogba. How do you think we looked without him here, man? Uh, d- dude, he's had a great season so far, man. Like, I have nothing, nothing bad to say, but he's been fucking busting his balls. Yeah, he's been winning tackles, still it's, making mistakes, but I've come surprise. to accept just who he is. Yeah, I said the first game like he's he's just who he is. Yeah, I'm gonna stop the expectations. I'm just gonna walk away. Hope hope he's, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, hope he's fair, productive. Fair, 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 I'm just gonna hope he's productive because what's no the point? point? There's no point. What's the him point? Anymore, I hope right? he's gonna be productive. I hope he doesn't make the mistakes, and I know what his value is and what he can bring to the table. And like, why am we, I'm just done. Yeah, I'm done I, caring. But like, we do miss him, obviously. Yeah, I enjoyed watching us without him. Not to say that we don't need him, because I want to be clear: if we have any shot at Champions League, we need Paul Pogba, no doubt. But watching this game, I think. It's that Carmelo Anthony vibe of like Ooh. every time we get the ball, we got to give it to Pogba because he's the guy who we're hoping to unlock. And it's also a bit unfair on Pogba because he has to come up with all the ideas. You see when you have a too much. Exactly. So like in this game, I'm glad like there was a bit of confidence from Scotty Mack. He was like, yo, there's no one in the midfield. I guess I'm going to take over this midfield. Matic quiet game, which I enjoy. Yeah, like, very he's quiet. quiet. That's good. That's a good thing. Don't give Matic the fucking ball. That's a very good thing. And then Pereira. Dog running out of time. This this guy's my boy. Running out but of time. He, but, but, he went, but he went to the middle of the field when when yeah. Daniel James went to the no, he right. Played well, he played and well. That first touch, that touch he when fucking Daniel turned James, inside. Yeah, that first touch when he missed touched it. Like that's that shit. No, not like, shot, not I don't shot. think you guys. I'm, have, I'm playing when Pereira, Pereira went to the middle. Yeah, of the field. Yeah, 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 yeah. Daniel James dribbled, cut inside, oh, laid and it the off ball to Pereira. Top of the Pereira had a shit touch. That's all I'm saying. with him is that like, but not, but you're on the. But I'm talking. That's negatives. I'm talking. The positives, man. He fucking got the ball, turned to the middle, drove to the middle. Dude, he's stuff good. that Mata can't do. My thing is, how many times have you put him or played him in his best position? Not often. You're pulling an Awobi with him. Where sometimes you'll put him in not his often, best not position. Often enough, Start him at right wing this game. He's not a right winger. We know he's a central player. There's been other times you play him at defensive midfield. I don't think he's a defensive I think he's midfielder. he's a number eight for me. He's, he's a box-to-box box type of That's dude, it. but a more attacking Yes, more, central yeah, midfielder, yes, right? But he likes to get yes, involved and absolutely. drop in and help. So absolutely. you haven't started him in his best position. I think that's a guy where I see some magic from him sometimes. Yeah. Shots from distance. But Turning people. He's inconsistent. People he is. And that's, part of the reason is because he he's not played, played his in his position. primary position, man. So. But it's, it's it, you're 100% that's a valid reason. But at some point. Like you got to step up. Yeah. You got to step up. Mbappe's a forward. Played right wing. Yeah. Played left wing. Played to the point where they're like, you know what, dude. 
Like, go to, go up top. Yeah, do whatever. Go to striker. Rashford, yeah. Rashford's the Rashford's same Rashford's shit. The same thing. You got to prove yeah. it at number nine. Like you say, you're number nine. When you get the number nine shots, you got to show you're number nine. I'll tell you who else is a number nine. Proper number nine. Hungman son. Beast. Yes, he is. Hungman Beast. son, bro. Spurs Beast. sixth place, four nil. Ain't got shit to say about Kane. Dude, this is what frustrates me about like. United, you watch the Spurs' performance. Obviously, they have better players than United. You know, if you go player for player, and a better coach, and a better coach for sure. Poch is a guy. <laughs> Tough saying that like it's uh, you're yeah. trying to jab. He's going out on the you're trying to yeah. jab, dude. I'm just saying they're oh, way no, better. No, she's a better coach, yeah, they're better man. Than way Arsenal, better. Too. They're way better than Arsenal. No, as not well. way. <laughs> not way, oh, bro. Tom and Luis, dog. Yeah. We're gonna get to you. Not way. We're gonna get to you, bro. They're not way better than Aubameyang and Lacazette. They're way better than the rest of your well, team. That's why for you, <laughs> yeah. it's everybody. It's, it's what is Pogba and De Gea? Pogba and De Gea. Well, Lloris would fuck De Gea. Rashford. Lloris. I mean, De Gea would fuck Lloris up. No, he won't fuck him up like that, <laughs> bro. <laughs> bro if, right. if, if let's they, not go sideways. If De Gea's top Let's three. Stay, the, why top are you 10? doing this to the United? Yeah, Lloris is top I'm ten. De Gea's top three. Guys, wait. We're on Spurs Crystal Palace here. Three years no champions. Bro, three years Spurs been in Champos. Three years no Champos for Arsenal. Way better than y'all. Nah, way better. Nah, it hurts the, to say the, it. No, look at the team. Spurs. No, just look at the yeah, team's let's look level. At the team. Let's go the, the back line. The entire back line is better than your back line. Okay, Irin hasn't played in two years. Sit okay. down. You got the one goalkeeper is better. Yeah, we got one, which is one more than you. Let's go to the okay. midfield. We okay. got another one, one more than you. No, nope. who's better? No, nope. Gundozi. <laughs> Ozil's better than Eriksen. Ah, nah, he's not. Nah, he's not. Nah, nah, he's not. Nah, 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 hey, no, don't, no, don't, don't, don't get entertained. But, uh, but I'll send the midfield is better man. than you. Dude, yours. Arsenal's third place in this guy's mind. <laughs> Come on, nah, yeah, they are. The Spurs are six places in your mind, bro. Stick by it. I'm sticking. I'm sticking by the Spurs will crumble, man. And they'll crumble, but not to six. They will crumble, though. They do. They they almost could have made it. Last year, they were a few word? points away. What's the word? Almost. Thank you. That's it. It doesn't matter. They're playing. So don't call me crazy for no, saying it's yeah, going to happen yeah, this time around. A, they're playing on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. That's it. For the last three years, they've been playing on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, and every year they've fuck gotten em. closer and closer. No, fuck. Look, they, th- they demolished Palace, man. In this Dude, game, our year playing his first game in a while, starting. I'm but he had, a, he, had a, him, he had a beautiful assist. Probably the best goal. Of the, not maybe not the best goal of the game, but fucking nice son, assist. Yeah. Son's Done. left footed volley, man. Just. Dude, that dude. And he caused the own goal, Van Anhalt. I yeah. mean, that was so unfortunate, man. Yeah, that was. Uh, just sucks. Oria tries to whip it in, gets off. I mean, Van Anhalt trying to block the cross, deflects in at the near post. But every time Spurs scored a goal in this game, the crowd just like rose and rose. Like the tempo. Dude, it's their home stadium hungry. now, and, man. Bro, but That's they like were the wild. Man. It's like, official. Yeah, man. It's yeah, you real. Could, it's real. Every Spurs time they believe. were going down, attacking out the field, Spurs I was believe. like, this is a goal. Spurs oh, believe. this is a goal. And the, that speaks. Yes, you got to credit Spurs for that, but you also got to look at Palace. Like, guys, what the fuck? You couldn't stop the bleeding at any point? Like, Dude, you no know what punch it is? and tackles, nothing you know what to it sort is? of slow it down? So Spurs is relentless in attack, right? So, like, even if you sit in a block, they're very... They're a poor man's Liverpool and Man City in that you can sit in your block and they can still break it down because they have quality. Yeah. Daly Ali, <laughs> Ericsson, Kane, Son, they didn't, the, they didn't do the Champions League final. They played fucking possession. Yeah, because Harry Kane <laughs> came back in, dude. He fucked everything up. Mm, he fucked played everything Lucas up. Moore, became, the man on the hat trick. He became the fucking Carmelo Anthony thing. Dude, Everybody's Harry's got to go to Harry. Spurs win 4 nothing. Harry Kane subs off with only an assist. He got Son Min, two goals. It was a nice it's assist. Beat. Put dude, it across look, goal. That was a nice to Lamella, man. Yeah. That fucking first was time di- ball, was like, that, was, that was all up here, man. Harry and that's Kane, the thing that he's shown me is that he's more than a goal scorer, right? Yeah. Like, he can... Provide assists. Yeah, remember, dude, he, he dude, his build up play as well. Dude, yeah. when he drops deep, he'll yeah. fucking turn, spray it wide, fucking and find a guy. But is he yeah. is, is he outwardly the, the best striker in the world? Can you just like like I know there right was now? yet yeah, right I think now. a is a better striker, maybe, like as a yeah, fucking put a ball like in the net. Crazy statement, yeah. Um there's a few guys Aguero I think the ball or like no no no, no. like put that position center yeah. forward is he the best no, center he's, forward I think, in the world I think he's top three top five debatable like but as far as we'll have to make is, a list I don't, I don't was think... he ever the best striker in the not world not yet dude he's still in the ascendance like he's still ascending Huss says that he's peaked or he's already reached his peak what well, fucking how old is Eric Kane 26 now yeah no he's he 26 that's Huss that's Huss that's, I'm just saying like the guy's still improving like mm. Cristiano Ronaldo Improved till he was in his thirties. It's that, it's I'm not, that not, weird, not making the comparison, but it's that weirdness of like the balance of silverware. I know it's a team sport, and you can be a, the best forward on yeah. a shit team. Like you can still have that title, but it's hard to give you that title when Aguero's out there, when name uh, not name uh, Mbappe's out there, when Griezmann's out there. You know what I mean? That's but what like, I'm I think I think it's debatable. I don't think I think you can make a case. Yeah, why he is. yeah. And that's why when Snacks is, here, I know we give him a lot of shit. 
but I don't think his statement's that crazy. I think in his head, it's so obvious. You know what I mean? And I don't think it's obvious no matter who you choose for the most part. Yeah, yeah. I think they all have this. That's, that's why I'm lying. He should be. He lives in that same gated community. Yeah, no, no that, doubt. No sure. doubt, man. And look, man, Spurs just absolutely demolished Palace here. I mean, yep. Roy Hodgson, what are you going to do? Shout out to Lamella, bro. I'll I tell you what I didn't like. Why do y'all shit on my boy? Yeah, we'll see. He'll get banged up again. He'll He's be out. two fucking goals um, already, bro. Yeah, just like Luke Shaw. He fucking bombs on, <laughs> yeah. overlaps, and then he'll be out. Like, he'll get injured. We know this. Hey, man. Um, I don't like the Wilfred Zaha right midfield start. Stop. Play this dude. Play your best plays in their best positions, please. Would you stop fucking around? Right? Boy, I know who is it. Townsend playing on the left midfield. Zaha playing a right midfield. Just switch them. Townsend is a right midfielder who yep. likes to cut in. Zaha is a left winger who likes to cut in. Like, that's it. He overthought his shit. Yeah, we'll get crosses into the box. Shit didn't work, bro. You're playing Jordan Ayu up there, man. It's not like you're playing Benteke in there. Sure, like, if sure. you start with Benteke, okay, I got you. You want to get natural crosses into sure. the box. It didn't make sense to me. The setup didn't make sense. I think you could see from the team as well that, I mean, Zaha had some opportunities. Cut in on his left foot, but you want Zaha cutting in on his right foot. And you want Andros Thompson. What, he scored the goal of the season last year? Yeah. Fucking ping from distance. I'm, from the right within side. Within the right side. The left foot, yeah. What are we doing here, Roy Hodgson? What are we doing? Set your team up for success. Put play your best players you know where is, they man? belong I think it's a bit not quite panic stations but I think he's nervous Palace haven't got off to a good start I think they'll be fine because they have enough individual quality to kind of figure it out but I think he's nervous and he should be he should be Palace don't look great this year I think they got lucky with United. You know, what yeah. I mean, I think we missed the penalty that game, so that should have. But been dude, an they out. have energy. Like when they play at home, it's a, it's a different ball game. Like, the, they, dude, the, they're they're, they're, they're a, a way crazy way. temperament team. Like they they get up or they just don't show up. And against Spurs, they just didn't show up. You know, but like obviously they're gonna be in trouble. They're gonna be bottom half of the table all year probably. Yeah. And like what happens when Zaha gets hurt? We've seen that before, right? And then a year like dude, he's this, got like you. They mean he's upset, wanted to leave, didn't get to leave. Like he's he has got no involvements. Dude, wanted, and it's so five games, up. no assists, no goals, no fucking nothing, nothing. Dude. So it's like, do you bench him? Do you keep? You got to keep him on the field. Either you play him out wide or play him at striker, <laughs> like left wing. And even a striker, striker, he can't play because I think he went fourteen games last year at striker. Didn't get he doesn't get the service. But you want he's you best want in like a four four two, not not as a number nine. Yeah, needs you need a guy in front of him who he can I think play off. Fair point. Yo, Dabella's back. Shout out to him. Um, got subbed on this game. Um, it'll be good to see him back playing. Yeah, man, he's an exciting player to watch. Yeah, dude, I love watching that dude. Fucking, uh, but Harry Winks, man, still getting the nod. Still, still getting those those minutes. I was talking, I was talking to my chick about that, man. Like Harry Winks, I think the fact that every time Spurs lose or struggle or win, we never bring up Harry Winks. I think is a testament to just how plug and play this kid has been. Yeah. Like he came in kind of undersized. He's not the most athletic dude. But man, everything that goes into him is tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Like usually forward, keeps the pace. You know what he is? One two touch. He's glue. He's WD forty. That's it. He helps. He's the lube. He helps it running smooth. That's it. He's glue or is WD forty? He's the lube. He's, he, yeah, he's lube. He he's lube, bro. Yeah, he helps. He helps it keeps he's it smooth. smooth. Yeah, man, That's just it. keeps it smooth in there, man. That's it, man. I, and I respect that so much in a midfielder because it's so easy to either overdo it or underdo it. And hide like he's always showing, always doing the right thing. I wonder what the English setup is going to be because obviously you got a guy like Jordan Henderson, way more mature. He's I mean, old, older, though, I think, right? Like he's twenty nine. He's also in his prime. Like you look yeah, at him, has how he's play. been playing, no, he has to play. and then you look at Harry Winks though, and no, it's not the best central midfield. Dude, that's in the, the Michael Carrick. That's the guy. The skulls that never played in that position. Like, but England, they have like they have him coming through. Ross Barkley's like th- more attacking. Yeah, I think like, you go but he's a guy who sits. Hendo. He sits. You go in your midfield, obviously the front three is whoever. In the midfield, you go Hendo. Box to box. Probably Winks. D-mid. And then someone else. Barkley, You can, you can Dele, rotate Barkley, Madison, Lingard. Mount, maybe. Mason Mount. Mount might get a shout. But it's, it's got to be, for me, I feel like it's got to be Winks and uh and Henderson. English national teams looking legit nowadays. Yeah, they are. They're they're looking golden, legit. Golden, uh, golden era is coming yeah. back for them. And it's good Especially, that it's their attackers because like, <laughs> I feel like... Harry Kane, Marcus Rasher, Raheem Sterling, fuck off out of here. And Tammy Sancho. Abraham, and Sancho, guys. Tammy Abraham. Tammy, are we going, are we going Chelsea? Let's get it real quick, bro. You want Chelsea? Sorry, we'll Tom. We'll Arsenal see. We'll see. If I should have kept it, though. Hey, hey, if we get time. Oh, <laughs> if we get time. <laughs> we'll squeeze them in at the end. Second. Y'all can get out right squeeze now. I'll kick you out of my spot, bro. I'll do this podcast myself with Arsenal, man. Tammy Abraham, fucking three. 
Uh, wolves too. This kid, man. This kid. Yo, he I, did it against the speedy to do sad. I, I think I judged too much off that first game against United when he was kind of listless. Yeah, you man. know, like and I was like, yeah, this is who did. he is. Because all I knew was I game. saw I yeah. saw his mixtape from last season cha- sure. in the championship. It's hard to rate a guy, and I was like, that. dude, he's 191, 192 centimeters. He's fucking. He's tall. He's athletic. I was like, all right, dude, like. Didi Adraba, tall, tall black dude playing up tall, fucking mm, dreadlocks too. But then the first game was like, ah, I don't know, I'm not seeing it. But dude, this game, he had all the Drogba fucking dude, headers. I've seen, it, I've seen it since that first game. But I, to your point, I, I understand why you guys said Giroud, but he was so unlucky in that game. He hit the post, guys. Like he would have. That was it though. Manchester. But it was a rocket. It was like, oh, like he, he I, I didn't know if it was a one off. I didn't know if it was like. Yeah, no, that's I, a that's, fair. That's a fair point. But he gave us a heart when he has the ball at his feet too. That's what. For me, took it to the edge. He's not just a guy who shield like Giroud shield and uh, headers. Basically. Giroud's got no moves, man. He, no dude, moves. for a tall dude, he's got he's no got quick feet. Moves. No, he's not gonna run at you. That, that was my issue with him. Out, at the Arsenal. third goal, this is the second time he's done that this season. How does his go to move? That's his go to. You didn't remember yeah. at the top of the box and that's in that other one game of the Sherlock? best go to moves dude, as a striker you can have. Just create that extra yard of space and get the ball in. Dog, that finish. Look, dog, I'm opening. I'm open to being wrong, son. Like I'd love for Tammy to prove me wrong, bro. (laughs) Another savage. I love these special forwards who come through. Special? Look, if he if he fulfills it, special. (laughs) If he fulfills it, I love the. I love Mbappé, bro. Are, like, are you, are you, are, like you slap, are you slapping the stamp on there? No, now? no, that's my no, bro. Yeah, yeah, no, he I has did. to prove it to me. Dude, I did after match day like two. I was like, this. He's got the pieces, and now he's got the nose for dude. That dude, he's got seven goals goal. in five games. That's, dude, that's insane. That's, but like the quality of the goals, it's headers as well. Like it's all different types. All of I'm yeah, saying yeah. is, if if like another person, a if, a, if a different name was doing this, yes. we'd be wilding out. Thank, that's so that's why I gotta wild out. I gotta give him his props for sure, but. I understand it's a long season. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it's a and long it is. season. And I'm and out on a limb. I'm out on a limb. Yeah. I'm in early. Man's like but Richardson man. have started on fire. Nah, no, Richardson. Man's no. like Lukaku have started out on fire. <laughs> Come January, we all know that those winter months. Ooh, those EPL but winter the months. Difference with those guys you're calling out is that they couldn't do it themselves consistently. Tammy yeah. consistently beats people one on one. Consistently, you're, you're saying and he can okay. shield. And he can head, and he can I chest, you got the link it up. He can, he, he can link it up. This is his first you Premier League hat trick. No, Slapping he, the stat. He, he's he's a complete. He's a complete number nine in the sense of any Raúl Jiménez, like uh, Dude, the guys we've been mentioning. He's the closest to Drogba I've seen in a Chelsea uniform. Lukaku was supposed Lukaku to be Lukaku was the second coming to. Didn't have the touch. Just bigger and better. He didn't have the touch. Yeah, and he didn't have the fucking anything to do with the touch. Yeah, mm-hmm. he didn't have the touch, and he, he had went some on goals drops. in him. He had some goals in he him. Yeah, but he it wasn't Drogba level, not big games. It's because Mourinho kicked him out and fucking KDB, and who's the third dude to kick out? kicked out. There was Andre Schurler too with it. Dude, that out. Chelsea yeah. team. Schurler sucked. Dude, Schurler's on Fulham. How good was he? Let's be honest. Anyway. <laughs> when he went back to Fuck Dortmund. Yeah, Tammy Abraham right. with, with the handball own goal on this one this also. Great, dude. He scored four goals. He scored country. four goals. What a stud. Two different nets. <laughs> uh, shout out to Willian here, man. Started over Pulisic looking dangerous. I dig that he's kind of sharing time. It also takes a little bit of pressure off Pulisic. Allowing him to it fucks keep my fantasy up, no, though. It definitely fucks fantasy. Pulisic yeah. screwed because Mason Mount. Mason Mount. Nah, nah. Uh, since he's like... Like, remember... No, Mount, Mount started out wide, yeah. and then, I don't he's know, man. He's just more. been getting that time over him. I feel like cause he's going to play Willian or Pedro, right? No, no, no. So, Willian wasn't playing. It was, yeah, it was Mount, Pedro. Pulisic, Barkley. Like, if you look at the starting yeah. lineups, since Willian's come back, Pulisic's the one who's paying the price. So, it's Pulisic and Willian. Mm. But, yes, Mount being good doesn't help Pulisic. Nah, the there's another young dude up in but there. Mount, man. Mount. There's another real. guy I guessed on match day one after they got slapped 4 nothing. I was like, guys, Looks you real. just kill the scoreboard and just watch this kid. He's fucking legit. And yep. he's got goals in this game, in his game, which is the most important. What about your favorite Chelsea player? Who? Daddy Longley. <laughs> España. <laughs> hey. Fucking hate that Marcos guy, Alonso man. coming back with a dime. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to the dime. Caro's literally like, yo, Marcus Alonso looks like a fucking tennis player. And I was yeah, like, yo, bro. fuck there that is. guy. That's actually so right. what he that's does. The great, that's the, that's the greatest he's comparison. Long, yeah. too, he's skinny. He's got the flow. Bro, but he played him in player. his position, right? Put, played yeah. him at wing back. Yeah. Chelsea came out. No, with look, the man. Three, I, the 3 4 3. Yeah. I'll, and, never, yeah. I'll never deny, man. Marcus Alonso in the right player. system can play. Yeah. Tell that, that, but that's the thing. Everyone gassed him, like, oh, he's a great. Fucking left back. I was nah, like, no, nah, he's nah, a great nah. wing back. He's a great left wing back. He's, he's got a good left foot. He's going to get down the yeah, line. That's it. He can it. whip it. He can you talk, whip we talk, it. You got yeah. to talk about tomorrow yet? <laughs> no. Go ahead, we bro. We fucking gloss over that. Goal of the fucking season. Fucking so goal far. of the season is an accident. 
Fikayo uh, Tamori. Kind of sounds like fuck a you. Fika fuck you. you. Dude, I was looking him up. I was like, <laughs> this guy might be dude. Ivory Coast. He might be Ghana. Where is he from? Man? I don't know. Fucking England. Is man. he English? Fucking theater. Where is he really from? Fikayo Tamori. I didn't, I didn't keep no? reading. I just fucking threw Hit my lens. Young English talent, man. But he's 21, man. Ball comes squirting out. Fucking 35 yards out. Beast. Just back Fade post. Rui Patricio spin. didn't see it coming. Dude, Rui took a step the wrong way. The banana on that shot was so unbelievable. He took the step the wrong way. And that's why he couldn't even recover. It was beautiful, man. His first goal for the club. Fucking What a goal, man. And what he's a, a center back guy. Center back slash right back when he needs to be. But dude, Chelsea. Their only problem I'm enjoying is, watching this dude, project. Ask me Laquetta, man. You can't have this guy playing right wing back. <laughs> like, yeah, he strange. doesn't have the fucking legs, dude. You're killing this guy. And he doesn't have the offensive ability. Like Ashby can He does but dude, he can't get up that high. It's like Valencia, then you can't get back. Yeah, so you gotta true. you gotta play no man's land or else you're gonna be stranded. Yeah. I mean, is it any coincidence Chelsea did well with Rudiger back in the team? Thank you. I mean, I know they conceded two Thank goals, you. right? Underrated. First Rudy game back. An underrated center back. But, hey, man. And he, he did it all last year to the point where everyone was honey dick by Luis. Everyone thought, oh, Luis is good. Uh, dog. He was, Luis covered, was, he was covered lucky Luis. that Rudiger was there with his bite style tackle. Luis, I, man. Cover. Yeah, I, bro. Who? That was Luis, man. <laughs> yeah. Yo, wait, 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 Batman. No, no, no. We got a shot at Bushwai. Bushwai. Batman. Oh, he gets involved? What happens? Something happens. <laughs> yeah. Fucking magic, man, son. See you to save Gotham, dog. My boy gets himself a dime. I see you, Mishi. I still got your back. From the bench. Fuck Tammy. Take that spot, bro. From the Fuck bench. Fuck Tammy. Take that spot, Bushwai. Know, From bro. the bench. Let him fucking know, dude. This guy's never going to see the field. Let's ruin there, too. No way. Dude, you imagine you play both of them up there? You play 3-5-2, though? No need. Fucking Tammy and Bushwai it's, it's a liability with fucking Bushwai out there. He's <laughs> oh, he gets a dime all of a sudden. He's a liability? Whoa. First thing he's done good all year. Man. Yeah, no. Bushwai. Pereira's a liability, bro. <laughs> out here doing nothing. Dude, let's I'm on Chelsea, man. Yeah, I got to fire. Let's get it. I got to fire. We're not even talking about Arsenal yet, but we can. If yeah, you want to talk it. Yeah, I want to talk about into it. Because I called Mouse. this shit, man. I'm not, uh, look, man. Man, you didn't call shit, bro. You were I over didn't. here fucking talking about David Luiz. We needed a body. Blaze, blaze, blaze. That's two fucking mistakes so far this season. Okay. I try to say he's Mustafi. Like, not even two. Mustafi 1.0. He's a fucking carbon copy. He's obviously had a better career. And I think part of the reason he's had a better career is because he's partnered with guys like Thiago fucking yeah, Pitbull. Silva. No doubt. Like, you know what I mean? But like... John Terry, Thiago yeah, John Silva, Ter- come on, girl. This guy's always been next to class, but he's always had that mistake in him. The difference is... No he's doubt. played next to a prime A piece of beef that was able to cover. And Rudiger covered him a lot. You know what doesn't year. help? Your partner making uh, giving the ball yes. to the other team. No. Look, David Luiz is he's trying to make let's, a soccer play. It was goofy. It was clumsy. Yeah. Did he need to make the tackle? No. But we know yeah. Pereira. Man used to play for Juventus. Yeah, he's, he's a, a dribbler. He's, a, he's silk. He's a problem. So it wasn't one of those mistakes where I look at you like you're a fucking bonehead. Yeah. It was it was clumsy. David Luiz, he, w- he is susceptible to a mistake. Yeah, yeah. But for me, it's the one from Socrates, dude. Like, And it's let's this talk, thing that Emery has tried that, to enforce yeah. with the buildup. Let's go deeper on that, yeah. Throughout the entire season, what was the stat like? Out of all the goalies this year, yeah, Leno's the most touches, touches yeah. Leno's the most like uh, touches inside within the, the box, yeah. within this inside yeah. of the 18. So... I'm That's sure they work City. on it. That's more than Liverpool. The two teams who basically made this like a standard in the UPL. Obviously, the system existed before. What I don't like about it is our restarts are so slow that it allows other Dude, teams to pick up set. defensively. Set. Exactly. Yeah, right? We get They get settled defensively. It's like he doesn't even attempt to restart <laughs> the ball quickly. Yes, exactly. I hate that. Like, you should <laughs> look down the field for... Let's hit Obama Dude, first. The sprinter. Think, or, or even if you fucking hit it to Socrates' feet, like... Let's hit it to Socrates' Quickly. feet so he has time to Quickly. turn and find, or even Luis, because that's yeah. his style, right? We Let's should be, oh, and right midfielders away. need to be on the same page. As soon yeah. as it goes out for a goal kick, boys, get it in Check quick. This yeah. is what I thought allowing defenders inside the 18 would actually and help. It does with. for most teams if you do it quickly. Yeah, like City will get it down and play. Liverpool will get it in play. play. Let's get moving. Spurs, yeah. We'll build, but we set up, we wait. We have two center backs basically at the corner of the six. Two which, center which midfielders on top in. of the 18. Pulls everyone in, yeah. Fullbacks out yeah. wide. Like, we're inviting Just so much stretched. pressure. And, look, as much as we, Man City, Barcelona, sometimes they get um, they get criticized for overplaying Stones. in the back. Stones right? has been caught. Doing you that. have to stick to your philosophy. I get it. But it does come to a point where, fucking two boot nothing, it. Get it up Tom, higher up the field. nothing up away from home. Why are you guys still, like, and, and it's not like this, Goal kick system was working well. Okay, you had a couple of scares, but for the most part, dog. Dude, Watford. Every- I mean, Watford came in ready to play, like to to counter that goal kick system. And from the jump, you guys were on the ropes every time that goal kick 
thing happened. You were always like one touch away, one bad touch away, one bad pass away. Gondozi almost lost yeah. the ball top Gundozi, of the box. Yeah. By the way, Gondozi, I got to give Gondozi props for being one of the bravest, youngest players I've ever seen. Still sucks, though. He's a fucking nope. liability. He's a liability only because of his age. That's yeah, it. I he'll, agree with that. He'll knock and, out. And I think with three liabilities in midfield okay. today, Mesut Ozil gets the start. Yep. We know he's a defensive liability. Granite Shaka, he might give away a PK or a yellow card. And and Gwendozi, yeah. in terms of his age, his lack That's of it. experience. That's immaturity. Not, That's it. He's, yeah, his bravery is else. unbelievable. Like, you can't teach that bravery. See, well, I he love the kid. He always wants it. He's always hungry. He gets stuck in even that stuff. All scuffle. balls, no talent. Guy sucks. Oh, you got talent. You <laughs> I see hope, when he turned I, I, out, hit that long ball. I man? know this guy has the potential to be a, a decent player, man, but I hope he just special. Fucking, I hope he never made it. I've talked I've I've so much shit about this guy, man. I've seen him fuck up. So, I mean, I know he's young. He's talking, fucks up a lot. Thrown to the wolves, and he fucking always making mistakes. I yeah. think it's just who he is. I don't think he's going to improve on it. Hope he doesn't. Hope he fails. <laughs> yeah, so that's what that's what yeah, Dixon but, was talking about. He but was dude, saying, yeah, right, no, right. Lee Dixon, man, this whole game, he's like, dude, it's like a fucking, it's a testimonial. What is this, uh, is yeah, it, is it pace, friendly? The pace dude, is like, so I love so when Lee Dixon commentates Arsenal games. Yeah, he so fucking great. just goes in. He's so great. You know what I mean? And yeah, like, because he was on the great Arsenal team. But dude, yeah, he's, 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 so a, he's a great pundit. Right. He's yeah. a great pundit in his own right. Yeah, but is, like, man. when he's talking about, oh, he's like, dude, this hurts me. Like, I mean, it's personal for him, but he's, he's very... He kept saying, we, we, like, what are we doing with this goal kick? And I was like, damn, Dixon is all in, dude. Dude, hear the positives, though, for Arsenal... Our fullbacks, man. When our fullbacks get in the game, I mean, would would they're dangerous? Yeah, Kola. Kola both both good. fullbacks. I mean, Kolasinac getting involved in there, getting himself an assist. Maitland Niles as well, overlapping, getting himself an assist. I think when we get Tierney, Obama Yang two goals, Tierney and um, you know, they're, they're, those are the positives, dude. But but everything else in in the middle of that, this result isn't a surprise to me, guys. Like I said, they got Warford got the new manager, bounce. and you should have probably lost this. Game. We should have no, lost. Dude, Warford bottom, bottom of the table. The first half, you guys. Should have been five six nothing. The problem is what happened at halftime during that speech. You guys, I was like, I was Came watching so this flat. game when you guys were two nothing up. I was like, dog, this is vintage. Like, no luck is and they're playing like this. This game is done. Second half, peep. But this Not wasn't this wasn't a surprise to me because we gave them the goals right. Like, if you look we at the Arsenal goals, the game, I think yeah. I think they were well more earned. Yeah. Then, then Watford's goals well more sure, worse. Sure, right, getting crosses in from out wide or little dimes, but. We gave him the goals. It's just errors. And again, it goes to our way form, man. Like, I know we have one win away uh, from home. It was the first season, game we yeah. played. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, For dude, the most part, last season. This yeah. is the reason right here. And I look at our Soft midfield. Shit. To me, look, our, our defense. Our midfield and our defense. <laughs> centrally. Centrally. Our guys out wide, fullbacks. Pepe, he was all right this game. Had some flashes. Still Ozil looking for a goal. Ozil, no, man. Ozil played an integral part yeah, in the I mean, first in goal. the first goal, he that played, was it. Yeah, but play- then... But dude, that's why he when was. You, in. When you need someone, I mean, dude, like I'm just saying, uh, like you guys were never fucking up for this game. Like it man. was, it was first just, after they got two ge- goals that they. Took, dude, this yeah, is a Watford team. We scored against the run of play. This, this for Watford sure. team is bottom of the table. Worst goals against. Up. They fucking have barely scored any goal. Uh, you fucking, can't sleep on the manager bounce. New manager though. bounce. I knew you're gonna bring it up. You got to. But you got. I mean, dude, the, the, bro. I don't think it was okay. We'll give a new manager bounce. But for me, the new manager bounce was maybe ten percent because that first half there was no new manager two nothing. bounce. So like. It's half and half. They had no new manager, and then they had new but, manager. No, no, no. But it's but just, it just me, wasn't it was goals. Because for me, we scored. Was, Arsenal scored against the run of play, dog. Sure, if you look at me, it, for me, it was Arsenal letting them into the game. It was that too. Like sitting back. It was more. It was, it was more mostly that of that. For me. And it was yes. mostly us making errors, right? Like that. straight up. So it was errors, and then you guys but giving them the game. Tell them they had as soon thirty-one as, shots in this game. Thirty-one. That mean what does that mean? It means you guys are fucking sitting back. Hundred percent. You guys had seven shots yeah, in the game. But why were we sitting back? Because they were fucking on fire. They because, were like, they were up yes, for it. Watford but, but, but was more Dixon, up for Dixon it than made we were. A great point is that okay, Watford was up for it. But anytime you guys lost the ball or tackled or did something, yeah. no one on Arsenal said anything. There was no pump up. There was no calling out. There was. No. That's we don't have leaders. Exactly. That's because we don't have leaders. So for me, that's what. That's why for me, it's hard to see Arsenal doing like well when those dark days come in the winter. Yeah. Because you have a Barmyang, he, he's up for it. Lacazette up for it. Leno, okay, he can bail you guys out. He had a great yeah. save at the end against the Core. But the rest of the team, I think, is plugging. Like you can pull him out and put him in. Like hundred percent. No fucking. And what kills me is centrally, <clears throat> right? So like our center backs. Luis is his second or third mistake that he's made already in five, five games. Five match days. You know what I mean? So <laughs> well, now I'm seeing an article that Mustafi he, might be oh, yeah, yeah. given another chance. Like Mustafi, Mustafi. So that, now, he, now we're getting desperate. Yes, we're match day five, and bad. defensively we're getting desperate. It's Mustafi bad. was supposed to go back to Turkey or <laughs> some it. shit like that, and all of a sudden... Hold the bus! <laughs> Hold the bus! <laughs> yes. 
Who pull, ah! Driver, uh, stop! It's no, desperate. No, no, it's desperate. I, I'm nervous That's great. defensively. That's defensively, it. Defensively, man. But literally, it's your defense, your, it's not even like that Liverpool defense of like three years ago where it's like, all right, it's shaky, but like, it was okay. leaky. Your one it was just, side it was of the leaky. way. Yeah, it Set was leaky. Set pieces or, you know, but... Arsenal's defense is gaping, Not bro. there, dude. It's bad. Look but who's ch- hey, who's back in training? Fucking... I can't even... Nacho left. Like, that sucks. Yeah. That's I a mean, huge loss. He was one of Montreal? the only decent... Yeah, Montreal gone. Yeah, he But Bayerine's on his way back and... Uh, Kieran Tierney. Yeah, yeah, they're both in training, so... I thought they but were again, gonna... Again, like Tom was saying... An hour, I think you said it too. It's that middle of the field, dude, dude. No one's there. All that middle from... Basically, from behind Aubameyang to just in front of Leno, just, just, just no just, Ramsey, if, no if, Rambo. If Shaka doesn't make a mistake, no Rambo. David Luiz Rambo? makes a mistake. <laughs> if he doesn't make a mistake, Socrates <laughs> make a mistake. It's a fucking revolving <laughs> triangle of shit, three. dog. It's a Bermuda like a triangle. And then, and then, well, and then you get, and then you get Luis coming. Triangle, in. Dog. And then you got Luis coming for a big fucking swing and a miss, and the guy going right by him. Oh, I can try bro. to tell you guys about Luis. I said ass son about Luis, dude. He did the same. I know, I, I know, but he's physical. Thing. He's physical. Yeah, great, bro. He's physical. physical. Yeah, let's get it. Dude, if, if Socrates dude, doesn't I, make if he, that mistake. He's 32 now, he, Devin dude, Luis. He's, so he's getting older. He's fucking But, dude, like, I think he's, he's, better he's than always Gary been Cato. the same player. Yes. He's, he's always been the same him. player, played the same been. whatever. But I think when he was just younger, he was better in whatever. And we're So that's, that's why physical. I kind of still yeah. rated him. But, like, dude, I think 32 is hitting hard for this guy. I think he's falling off. Socrates is not. no one next to him either. Socrates. He's not a buildup. Center back. Socrates is just a pit bull. Like, he's a Greek. That's it. He's a Greek dog, man. That's like, it. he's he's classic Greek defender. He's going to be physical. You know, like, obviously, he's played for Dortmund, played yeah. for Arsenal, so he does have feet, but it's not his thing. <clears throat> David Luiz, no. he is a build up. It's like trying back. to build up with, like, fucking Jones or like, smalling back. It's just not It's not what he wants guys. to do, right? Exactly. He'd rather it's get it up natural. the field or just get it exactly. wide. Um, right. So, again, you have to ask questions of Unai Emery in terms of the system you're trying to implement. Do you have the players to implement it? Who's. Unai Emery starting 11, bro. The question continues. No, we don't know. Is it Socrates, Luis, Mustafi? Like, is it going to be Bayern? Is it going to be fucking uh, Nate Miles? Is it going to be No, Tyranny? we still don't know. Is it going to be... Like, there's so many... Jacques, always... Torreira. What happened to Torreira? He was that... Like, last season... I feel like he had a good entry-level first season. Me too. He doesn't Great, he like Torreira. A goal towards the end. Yeah, what the well, fuck? Venga, was that guy, a Venga right? purchase? No, I think that may have been a Venga no, purchase. I think you guys got him last year. I think last year was his first year, bro. I, yeah, I think well, he, so. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I yeah. Look. No, 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 no. You're right. You're right. Year, right after the the South American. Yeah, Cup yeah, or yeah. Dude, I don't understand. I mean, he subbed on. He subbed on in the sixty in the sixty seventh minute. You but know, I think Torreira. He doesn't. He doesn't days, speak he English, start. so I know the lack of communication. He's definitely your, he's affects. your best center midfielder, I think, though, from what I've seen. Or at least from the best guy. number six. Though. That's what I mean. He's the best, like holding, like tackling, but plays the ball. He's not shock a higher, but he's not reckless. Even if you look at the goal, Torreira's out of position, right? Sure. Like he goes. Sure. He's sure. trying to kill the game. He shoots the sure. ball, sure. and then they that break like Watford. Yeah. That that, so that may case. be part of it that's yeah. driving Unai Emery like crazy. He's like, mm. dude, I put you in there to sit, right? Just to mm. hold. I mean, I know Shaka was still in the game at that point, so I could be off on that. But because he he brought he got he took Gendozi off, and yeah, Gendozi yeah, yeah. plays that role for us. But just in transition, brought, guys, we had four guys behind <clears throat> the ball. Still, somehow Watford managed to earn a PK. Like, yeah. it's just shit, man. It's dude, absolute Watford could have taken this at the end. That Decore play, literally, like that's who Decore is, Captain like, Decore, running late in the game, driving. Just that finish. Leno, fucking brilliant. Gambling, like diving across. Leno's got the special save, saves in him. He's, he's he not. Does, he's, he does have some bailouts. He's a, he's a young keeper, He's, he's man. a Pickford, not Pickford, though. Like, <clears throat> Pickford's his own fucking entity, I guess. But Leno's got some. He's solid. But he's, obviously, he's, still, he's, he's a young keeper. For me, he's on the bubble. Like, to me, he's, he's, he's had some he's, howlers. To me, he's just a young keeper. He's, what, 25 years old? I'm, I'm looking him up now. 25, 26 yeah. years old. Like, 27. Fuck that, yeah, dude. He's not, he's, oh. Yeah, he's All right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you heard him. Be peaking All right, bro. Right he needs to get more time. And he was born in September. <laughs> <you know>? Just, <laughs> just get more game time in there. Just get more. Look, man. Very disappointed as an Arsenal fan. But at the same time, guys, I'm not surprised by this result. I told you, with the new manager bounce... I'm expecting a tie. I wouldn't be surprised if we took a surprise. Too bad Joe Willock couldn't have played more minutes. Yeah, too bad Joe Willock couldn't have played more minutes this game. Yeah, he looks <laughs> too bad. He was roasting. He was out there roasting. Um, man. All right, man. Trying to make jokes, but <laughs> that wraps it up for that top six review, real quick. We'll jump into quick Uh Bournemouth three, Everton one. Yo, Marcus Silva, I think is next. Um, Dude, to go. how to go you can't. You million. fucking can't. Three hundred million, dog. You can't. Three hundred million. That's, That's why it. you can't. But the team, but the team is not even fucking playing. What team? Thank you. Here's the thing: they're, they're sitting at, a, they're sitting at eleven. Playing. So what eleven though? It's, it's all over the place. No, look, Tom. 
They're sitting at 11, but they should be where Leicester is. You know what I, I mean? They should be. I know. And it's they're, they're underperforming. Early, but like when you watch, when you watch Leicester play, you see what they're trying to do. You watch Bournemouth play before this game, you see what they're trying to do. Wolves, do, same thing. Ever as long as like you a, put faith in Calvert Lewin, son, to be your starting striker, I don't think they're gonna do me. much. He, this is the yeah. wrong game to criticize him. I get it, but mm-hmm. I gotta be consistent in terms of. What big picture. Yeah, what, what he's shown see, me, yeah. big picture. He scores this game, helps tie it up 1-1. Um, look, man, good for him. It was his first and 13. Dog, and he scored, and who scored still gave him a 7.0. Why? You know I mean? Why? So, like, maybe because the team took the loss? Richardson got an assist, got a 7.9. So, that I look at him, I'm like, what impact does this dude make? Like, a Moisey King, you saw he came into the game. Dog, it's Why'd you buy nightmare. this guy? It was Why'd a you nightmare. fucking buy this kid? Like, it's not like... If Calvert was hot, I get it. Like, you see at Wolves with Crotone and uh, uh, Jota and Jimenez. He's trying to, like, yeah. rotate him, like, trying to work it in because Jota's hot. Jimenez does his own thing. Calvert-Lewin, for the last two years, previous managers, even before Marco Dude, Silva when been, he was breaking through, didn't do shit. So why is not Moise Kane being given the same uh, You know I'm not leeway. quick to, like, judge players and, like, youngsters, be down on players. Youngsters, especially youngsters. Yeah, like, I'm yeah. way more open to... Yeah. But, like, I haven't seen that thing. I even see a little bit more in Solanke than I do in this guy, man. Like, I've seen, even at the, like, with the three Lions at the at the younger level, like, yeah. I've seen Solanke do work and, like, sort of take over games. And I haven't really seen that from Calvert Lua, man. And so, look, good on you, man. You scored a goal. Maybe this will be the first of many. Maybe this will break you out of that spell. I just don't see it, man. But as far as Bournemouth go on the quick touch... Callum Wilson's backfiring, baby. Dude, the problem is, I was saying it to my chick, too. I said a lot of shit to my chick this weekend, apparently. <laughs> Callum Wilson, if he stayed healthy, I think right now he'd be at a top six, be it Arsenal, maybe United, Spurs. Maybe not starting, you know what I mean? But you know like, who he is? He kept He's Louis Remy. Yeah. He's like that level. He's <clears throat> every 80, time, 81. Every time he's healthy, he scores, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? But then he'll take three months it's off. It's the Bournemouth come system, back, though, man. Some. It's a Bournemouth system, but that Bournemouth system is very similar to a Spurs system. It's very similar to an Arsenal as far as like building out the back and shit. I think Callum Wilson. He's not durable. If he you, was think, healthy, you think he's that level? Top six. Spurs yeah, level. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think he would have uh, rotate. I don't think. Yes, not exactly. Starter. I don't think he would have ousted Harry Kane, but he would have been maybe that Son role kind instead of, of. You know, instead I mean? of what's his name. Instead of Laurent, no, Laurent I mean, or even, Lamella, even the other guy with the Jansen, it was like Jansen, oh, Jansen, Jansen. Yeah, instead of Jansen, ah. guys like that. But either way, man, I'm happy for him. He scores. I'm not surprised because this dude has a nose for goal, man. Undeniable. Nose Ryan for Frazier goal. coming off the bench, bro. Get the ducats. Yeah, man. I think this was his first ducat all yeah. year. Yeah, he's all been year. cold. So like, he's been cold. So hopefully this will get him going. That's too. actually great management. I know um, Scotland also had um, international duty, but yeah, in terms of yeah, too. in terms of Eddie Howe. It's like, oh, all right, you were a star give performer a spell. last year. Yeah, give him nah, a spell. You come off the bench. You can come off the bench. <laughs> and that, like, sets, that sets the tone for the entire club. Because mm. they're like, all right, if our basically our gem who's linked with Arsenal moves and other top six moves, if he's not playing well and he gets sat, then I should probably keep working. My boy Jefferson Lerma came in as well. He's a guy who's also full of red cards, but I love this dude, man. Dude, he's speak, a fucking axe, Colombian speaking, axe. Speaking of guys coming in, man. Marco Silva subs on Bernard, Moise Keane, and Theo Walcott. Theo Walcott, probably the weakest of the three. But it's like, dude, look at those options. Look at that firepower you have coming That's off what the I'm bench. Saying, dude. You know, and Awobi, for all he's worth, man, like, he's been it's just his well final, his decision making is just the worst, like, some of the worst I've ever seen. Like, he'll drive, he did this late in the game, be a couple of players, oh my, he's doing great, top of the box, and, like, he'll give it to the other team. It's like, dude, it's like, dude, what are you doing? Yeah, we know with him, it's you know all about I mean? the final third. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Just the final pass, he just gets nervous. Dude, every, since Arsenal days. Yeah. Always fucking losing that ball, man. But Bernardo, Bernard, never see that from him. You know, like, fucking poor man's Bernardo Silva, really. Short, shifty, but fucking clinical. I don't know why you just don't go Richardson up top. Um, Richardson's Mo- been oh, working oh, up top oh, all Mo- season. Or oh, Moise Keane up top. Richardson, Richardson wide. Left, yeah. And, um... You know, it will be or on the other Bernard. Side, yeah, I don't know. Either Dude, way, shout out to AK okay, man. I want this guy at United. I don't know if he'll come in and start, but I want him like either Harry Maguire, AK, okay, Harry Maguire, Lindelof. Good enough to me. start for the Netherlands national team. That's what I'm saying, man. He's and he's right next to fucking Virgil. Van Dijk, dude. Like AK, okay, I think in the next two, three. Dude, years, if Liverpool buy him, it's a fucking problem. This guy's 24. Agreed. It's if Liverpool buy him to problem. cover Lovren 
And now you're going to have two national, national team teammates. Dude, three like, of them with Weesh. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a little In that triangle, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. It's fucking, fucking It kind of looks like... Um, Quick touch. Not right guard, but... um, Valderrama? No, he does look like Rudy Gullit. Hulit. Yeah. He looks Hulet. like Hulit, bro. Shout this dude out, looks bro. like a young Hulit out, out there. I got love it, dude. I fucking love oh, it. Oh, shit. Um, Sheffield United, zero. Southampton, one. Battle of the relegation here, man. This is when... When you're going down on match day 38 by two points, you're gonna look back at this game. Southampton's right? not. Go- I mean, Sheffield United's not going down. <clears throat> Probably not, man. But they drop points to a team that I think is going down. Southampton. That's not good. Still at early home. days. At home as well. <clears throat> at home, dude. So it's so much about the results because some of these teams that drop down, they play champagne football. It's beautiful. And then and when you look at the end of the team. year. You earned that like pan yeah, yeah. Hutters. 17th yeah, sort man, of Hutters spot. Hutters played very well that first year they came through. I think they finished like what, 15th or something. <laughs> uh, Brighton won. Burnley won. This game was a, another game of the relegations. I think late in the season, these two teams might be looking at each other. Dude, I eye. think Burnley's back, though. I, I hope so. I like Burnley. As long as they got Ashley I think, I think what Wolves are going through this year, man, because Burnley had... Was it Burnley last year? They had uh, Euro- European yeah, League, yeah, you know. So the qualifiers in August, September, like they yeah, fucking they burned up. They started in July. They, yeah, yeah. And Wolves did the same shit this year, which is why yeah. Wolves are struggling because sure. you fucking play on these extra games. So Burnley, I think without without I that think, headache, yeah, back on the feet, fucking the manageable size calendar. You know, I think they're gonna see. Dude, that's why I, I picked up fucking Pope, <coughs> fucking <coughs> yeah, Nicky Pope. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, they can see which sucks. But I think this is gonna be Bournemouth. I mean, Barnes. Burnley, you mean. Burnley, yeah, dude, I'm all over the place. Um, yeah, man, we'll see, dude. We'll see. Burnley, for me, I'm looking at them with a bit of a, a raised eyebrow to see dude, what they're Dude, they'll be, they'll be 17th or 16th. Burnley? Or, or 15th. We'll see. I think, look, as long as Ashley Barnes keeps scoring, I don't know, he didn't that, score. Dude, he's he going to keep, you hear what you just said? That guy look, never scores. Every, every team that stays up has, like, a lynch One pin, guy. right? Like, there's guy. that guy you can be like, all right, this dude's going to produce. Pookie looks like that dude for Norwich. Yeah. Barnes was that dude, dude for Burnley, like for Ricky, Ricky Lambert, the Blades. We don't know. Like Southampton, again, we don't know. It used to be Nathan Redmond. So typically, the no, teams the that way, stay up have that point, man. By the way, they scored in the ninety-first minute, out. So it's they got to wake up, dude. I don't know who uh, Burnley. They scored in the ninety-first oh, minute yeah. to tie it up. So like they could have lost to Brighton, who Brighton has dog shit this year too. Um, Brighton had 14 shots to, to Burnley's seven. So Hendrik, Hendrik's goal was nice too, man. Fucking yeah. laser beam from from distance. Yeah, man. We'll on. see, man. Burnley, to to your point, now they might be in 17, 16, bro. I don't I know was, where those I mean, goals it won't are be. It won't from. be. I'm just say, I say that I exaggerate. It just won't be. It won't be like smooth sailing. Like, yeah. yeah, ups and downs. I just don't know where the goals dude, are coming from. Dude, not with Leicester. Not with, I mean, Wolves have a tough go of it, but like Everton even. But dude, like Bournemouth is back, it seems. That's what I'm saying. I think like, the league's Bournemouth, rebalancing, man, and re- re-solidifying all these, all these mid-level teams that had were a good couple years ago. Yeah. I mean, Wolves, Wolves think, are the guys are going to go down. They're going to suffer that same thing Burnley did with the Europa League schedule what, what, a little bit. Were you Hussey over like, here, yeah. man? Where you been, man? Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. damn. That's exactly what you were <laughs> yeah. saying? I mean, look, the last two things word you said, he's... Dude, you learn from the I was looking up an article. I was looking up an article. <laughs> that's great. Although the highlights. That's I feel you, bro. I feel you, Huss. Ah, that's so great. So pull the Huss. Anyway. Miss you, Huss. Um, um, and then the last game. Was there a last game? No, oh, Monday. yeah. It was the uh, the prediction a little bit. So we got, man, this is a boring Monday game. But I guess you got to give charity out. Villa versus West Ham. Battle of the Clarets and Blues. Yeah, yeah. It's great, man. Let's get Burnley involved in this as well. Um, who, do you, who do you guys got here? You got Villa, man. Home team. By the way, fucking Colo Torre is on the bench at Leicester. Oh, fuck yeah. He's fucking, working with fucking Brendan Rodgers. I love it. His man. I love it. He's his man. Was he dude. at Celtic as well? Uh, yeah, he brought him to Celtic they brought for Celtic a year. As a player. Yeah, he yeah. dog shit, but he brought him anyway. He still brought him, dude. Yeah, yeah. He retired. I, just love I think he retired fucking... at Celtic and joined his staff. Just like Leicester played Chelsea <laughs> and they never were shaking hands. Like, you got Frank and you got Colo. Like, yeah, dude, yeah, yeah. there used to it's be crazy, battles. Dude, yeah. it's, it's funny, man. It's good to see all these players it's coming back. It's weird getting old, though, right? With Austin Villa and John Terry. It's like you get a legend there in the backroom staff. That helps, man. That but helps the I youngsters. Got for sure. Jack Grealish, man. I got the... Uh, Was that I, I, put Jack? I got Villa. You got I got Villa. Villa at home. Dude, I got West Ham. Um, Lanzini. Lanzini. Fucking, what's his name? Uh, Brazilian yeah, cat. Yeah, Malenko's West, back. Wesley. No, no. no. Left, left, what's his name? Oh, Felipe. Man? Felipe. 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 Who's the new striker that the they top, got? The, the big French? ass dude. Yeah, what's his bro. name? The big Frenchie. I think he's got two goals this year already or three goals this year already for West Ham. Or is it one? I don't know. Either way, man. 
I got West Ham, but to your point, Al, I don't think it'll be an easy game. Wouldn't be surprised to see a draw, but looking at least Sebastian on Sebastian Holla. Holla. That's oh. it. Holla's such I mean, a holla beast, at you. I mean, Holla. 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 Oh, no, no. That was Newcastle. That big-ass Newcastle dude. Mm. What's his name? Jo- Joel Ton. Joel Ton, dude. Joel <laughs> oh. Jum- Jumbotron. So, this guy's um, huge. Yeah, yeah. Who do you have some again? Villa West Ham. Got to go with the Hammers. Hey, Tyrone yeah. Mings. Let's go. Dude, that guy, man. I want him at Arsenal. Yeah, he's a savage. Dude, that, that's who you invest in, man. Like, he's, he's a Dude, beast. I swear to God, Arsenal should have bought Harry Maguire. You fucking sell your house and your family for Harry Maguire. You build your team Dude, around or, someone. Okay, you said Mings? Yeah. I would have That's a fucking that. guy I would have accepted over David Luiz. Well, no one saw this. I People did. did dude. dude, from day one, I've been last saying year? Luis is shit. Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm saying from... we didn't see Tyrone. Dude, Tyro- Tyrone's been on so radar, like, though, man. Because, like, if, if Mings, if we buy Mings, if we buy Mings and he struggles, it's like, oh, yes. why wouldn't you go for the experience? Well, you got like, Rob Holding. You may as well go, you know, this guy's established. Guys, though. guys, I'm Fuck with you. I agree. I wanted to prioritize a setup back. It's not what happened. I'll take Davi Luiz over Gary Cahill. Fair enough. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. those were the options no, no, at Gary, the time. Like. Gary's dog shit. Gary's dog shit. Um, and then I want to touch on some Will Footy because that wraps up our EPL se- segment. Uh, Real Madrid here almost getting embarrassed by Levante but managed to pull it out 3-2. Benz with a brace for himself. Hazard played this game. Dude, uh, Benz has been fucking balling. Ball you know, yeah, yes, ball- Benz is just and, like And this week so the news came on. out that uh, Real Madrid tried to sign Pogba and Lewandowski. So they were already trying to replace Benz, and he came in fucking underrated, focused. Is Benz? This, yeah, he's probably. a dude who we just overlook. Probably he's not dude, underrated. He's, he's overlooked. overlooked. Dude, he's yeah. fourth in all-time Champions League goals behind Messi, Ronaldo, Raul, and that's him. Tom's right. It's the same. He's just we it's overlook ridiculous. him. We know, you know he's class. There's not a lot of YouTube kind of highlights for him. Like it's goals, but like he's not beating. Three he's or four just been guys at like the Mbappe. same place yeah. for so yeah. long. He's There's just one of those guys, man. And if you can stay at Madrid for a decade. We look at yeah, Gu- dudes God, like Guti, impressive. who are like, why is Guti on Real Madrid? He's homegrown, baby. Yeah, he's, he's just consistent. <laughs> but he he's stays the there. levels. They don't yeah. give a fuck about homegrown. Yeah. If you're not at the level, look at fucking CR7 getting booed last season. Yeah, getting every season. fucking booed. <laughs> every season. Are you fucking kidding me? No, it's just... So if you're not at the levels, like Real Madrid is literally baptism by fire. No. I'm curious to see what Pogba's going to do that. It's going to be great. Because they'll have guys like Hazard, guys like Vinicius around him. Maybe they'll have a new forward by that time. He's, he's going to do his walking well, bullshit and his shoulder, he, his if, shoulder if, moves. If they lose yeah, and he does that lose. shit, oh. they're going to fucking Dude, he's gonna be la- hate him. Oh, he's going to be pissed. He's going to oh. be all sad. Pogba's one of them. You this. They literally you wanted CR7, this, bro. Pogba, they literally Pogba's one of the most CR. polarizing players. I have no doubt they'll yeah. be fans. Oh, they'll be all over Fans who hate him. Dude, they'll lose a game. He'll be sauntering around and doing his thing. Dude, he's fucking walking, blah, blah, blah. All over. Yeah, it's bad, man. Well, hopefully he's mentally strong enough. Hopefully to he eat, stays to and things that. work out. To be honest, Dude, look, look, another hopefully, upset. But like, I don't see it, especially after this season. I don't see Pogba staying. If we, dude, if we, we need to leave. Good. You guys treat him like shit too. Ah, uh, look, that's a fair point. We did, we did, man. Yeah. We did. Yeah, I can look, admit that. Another admit another that. upset. Atletico Madrid, my guys, who I thought would run with it, um, they lose to Real Sociedad. <laughs> Said it with the Catalonia accent. Yeah, that was perfect. Bro. Um, Look, this is an upset, man. Atletico were looking like the favorites for a dude, long time. Now Sevilla is be. leading La Liga. Like I'm telling you guys, La Liga has become the most unpredictable. Because Ronaldo in the world left right now. No, no. Because Ronaldo I'll left you. and Messi's exactly. injured. Exactly. 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 I'll admit this year it's unpredictable. Yeah. La Liga is no because Messi's no old debate. and withering, and Ronaldo's not Barcelona's there. So everything is. Oh, let's bring that up. They find Barcelona, bro. They find him form now. Five two dub. Uh, what's his name, bro? Fuck, fuck Barcelona. The thirteen year old. Yeah, the little thirteen year old. Uh, fuck, what's his name? Oh, sorry, guys. Looking real unprofessional trying to Look, pull up this game. Either way, court. man. The greasy one. The greasy one is out dude, there. Dude, plug the and play. Fati. Plug. Yes, dude, Fati. You're thinking about Brilliant, dude. I think Fatty. he's got two go- two games. Uh, he scored last game, With but I don't header. think it was a start. Mm. This was his first start, and he scored two minutes into the game. Barca just I mean, always find a this way. This is the dream, guys. Like, I'm so happy for this kid, 16 years old, scoring at... La Masia. I mean, at uh, the Camp No Dog. Yeah, bro. And and look, Frankie De Jong gets himself a goal and an assist. I mean, they're starting to come together a little bit here. Griezmann playing in that number nine <clears> they're role. They're still weak, Dude, man. They're what still... are they going to do when Messi comes back? This might fuck with the flow. You know what it flow. is? You got to like, you gotta keep Griezmann in his position. Messi come back underneath. The question is, what do you do with Suarez? That's the question. What that's do you do that's with what him? I mean. In general, who do you start? He's who you rotate, man. 
But like, is he that Carlos Perez started at right wing, so Messi could probably enter that right wing. Yeah. Yeah. You, 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 you put Griezmann up to top. No, put, the put so Griezmann Fati, down the middle, man. Like he, Suarez on the bench. That's what I'm saying, man. It, it might He's have old. To, it might have to be the man, manage manage think, minutes. Well, manage, you, keep last him fresh. Season, Suarez, I think, got like one Champions League goal, something mm-hmm. like that, something crazy. And it I think wasn't he got like the, eleven the the league of goals, so it kind of covered his ass a bit. But he's not this. He's old, guys. Because between Frankie he's De Jong, just rotate, keep him, fre- keep him fresh, keep him fit, or bring him, him on when you need him. or something. Yeah. Dude, he'll be. He's still lethal. Dude, he's thirty-two, man. Yeah, he's a lot he's of miles on. It's just miles, dude. Like oh, these guys have been balling for years, and he's been running hard. Like he's been he's, putting miles into his legs. Like he's not one of those guys who's lazy. At Liverpool, at Ajax, even he's a dude he's for years. Going. He's played the same style, but still, the El Pistolero has been stalling. The, the gun's been yeah. stalling a little bit at times, man. Reload, bro. Yeah, but he got a brace in this game. He's gonna bite someone. Shout. Came off the bench, scored a brace. But for me, I think Griezmann and props to Barcelona for recognizing how important that signing was as far as like Get taking over the some line. pressure off Messi. Because Griezmann in a Champions League final could take over the game. Yeah. Get it off Messi's shoulders. Obviously, Suarez. He'll probably can. hit the crossbar, though. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he might. He might, man. That's so uh, subject. But yeah, man. Shout out to, to Barca fucking yeah. figuring it out. Go Juventus ahead. dropped points against Fiorentina here. First points they've dropped. Um, Inter Milan looking like um, you know they they're gonna do work this year, man. They, are, they man. look and good. Champos too. Lukaku's fucking amped up. I'm, I'm happy for Inter. I'm um, happy for Conti like as bad. well, man. Conti this guy, too, yeah. dude. Conti's looking like what a top three. Easily. I see he Pep needs, Klopp. You know he, he needs Champos. You know what he needs? He needs Conti. a Champos. Like Klopp has it. It's like yeah. Klopp now is in the debate. But Conti went there what four years in a row and couldn't get it. Or was it three years in a year? No, when he started yeah. at Juve, yeah. 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 But, got, but he got, got them the semis, on track. Right? Like, he turned yeah. them into what they he are did, today. Like, and then he walked they're, out. They're still chasing what Did they get to a finals? It was, yeah. right? Juventus, yeah, Barca? Got, I don't think Juventus, it was. It wasn't him, It was though. Juventus... It was also they lost to Bayern. Juventus. Yeah, I remember yeah. they lost to Bayern. Maybe in the semifinals yeah. it was, but yeah. I think Either it was way, I think Barca been in the semifinals or finals. Pogba was three or four years in a row, yeah. And they lost. Yeah, so, like, he didn't get them. It's like Man City right now with Pep. Gotta get over the hill. He has to get that's the mission. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining us. This was 310 Persiated. Check out our social media, Instagram, Facebook, and all that stuff. If you got comments, we'll have a post either on a, actually on both Instagram and Facebook. Throw your comments under there. We'll respond. All that, that good stuff. Anything else, fellas? Yeah, um, Chelsea's Tammy Abraham is only three goals off Marcus Rashford's best United season. Just going to leave that nugget off. <laughs>